It's like a flash. Karen Aro, thank you for two months. What is the FPS unlocker? It is literally the FPS unlocker. It also unlocks FOV. So that way I can see things. Dude, I love this intro. It's just so hype. Chad, am I going to be able to finish Elden Ring before Starfield comes out? <laughs> yes, Copium. Chat, Starfield is supposed to come out, you know, in like eight months or so. I think most people wouldn't even be done with Elden Ring in that time. Like, I'm playing a lot of this, but if somebody is actually playing a little more casually and taking their sweet time, it's, I think it'd be like a 100 to 200 hour run to, like, really experience most of the game. And I don't think most people would be able to do it, actually. Well, okay, it depends actually on how casual you are, too, like how much free time you have, so. Anyways, chat room, let us quickly summarize what I did yesterday. Shit, what did I do yesterday? Uh, I ran over here. I killed this boss. I went all the way over here. I cleared out this entire left side. This boss on the bottom right took me another two hours or so. And eventually I just parry cheesed him by parrying every attack until I killed him with stabs. It was a good time. And now I'm at, let's see. How many hours into this playthrough am I? Let's actually look at that. 31 hours into this playthrough now. And I guess it's finally time to progress the main story a little bit. Although there's... We also went here. There's like a library here. With the most evil boss in this video game I have ever encountered. It exists here. If you guys ever want to just suffer, you know, just load up Elden Ring. Ignore everything and go to this. It's called the Study Hall. And uh, if you feel like suffering, you know, that's that's over there for sure. This is my first Souls game. Been leveling decks mostly. Is that a bad idea? No. I think you pretty much... You you might want to make sure you do uh, health. So that way you don't die. Because you'll probably do a ton of damage. So you, you want to make sure you don't die. But um, there is a ton of... There's a ton of weapons out there that scale with decks. So you can just run out of daggers and stuff. And you're chilling. Also, I did... So I killed this guy, right? Um, so we did this study hall, and then I went north, and then I also killed... There's a Black Knife Catacombs that dropped some sick loot, and I ganked some people over here. And now I'm kind of curious, because it did drop me a key item, if that key item goes back to the study hall. Um, I'm not sure what the study hall is for exactly. Someone said it's for a quest line I haven't even started yet, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go there, I think, and see if I can turn in and see what happens. Are all the cool weapons faith-based? No, no, no. You can do pretty much any scaling with any weapon. Um, so, like, as an example, my current weapon is just a strength one. doesn't really scale faith, and that's because I put fire on it because I thought fire was cool. But you can change it. Like, if, if you can pretty much make anything work and scale off other things. Okay, I still haven't found the thing that goes here, by the way. It says examine pedestal. Nothing. And I haven't found this yet. Oh, yeah, and I also got a shield that's literally a jellyfish, which is honestly so fucking cool. I'm going to bring the shield to the end of the game. And it's sick. And if you missed yesterday's playthrough, we discovered that this jellyfish... It can, I guess, start bleeding everywhere. You just get really angry, get it very upset. And when you have the jellyfish red... Uh, it gives you 20% more damage. And it stacks with other buffs. So you can just like insane stack your damage with a one-hander and have a jellyfish and own. And you're good to go. Dex builds are the hardest. I don't know if there's anything that's necessarily the hardest out of anything. As much as I think some builds are the easiest. Right? So like 
I would assume that caster builds in this game are probably easier than other builds you can do. But I wouldn't, I don't know if there's like a huge difference between like a dex build and a strength build. Makes no sense. Jellyfish are soft. Oh yeah, yeah. So this jellyfish shield, it has one weakness. It actually cannot block stabbing attacks. It only blocks slashing attacks. So if anything stabs, I can't block it. Which is kind of troll, but also 20% damage. So... Hmm. So as to where we were earlier, by the way, um, at some point, I think I will return down here and do all of these quests. I, I know there's a ton, like this whole red area is very high level and I definitely have the damage to do it now, I think, but also the main quest is calling. And the reason the main quest is calling is because if I keep going bottom right, then I think I'm just going to over level the main quest and I already over level the main quest, I assume. Lots of dex builds rely on crits or bleeds. Well, isn't... Well, aren't dex builds naturally very good then? Because lots of... Isn't bleed really good in this game? So you just, you know, bleed and run around and they just explode? Bleed is arcane, not dex. Oh, but aren't... Let me look at this. Because I have a lot of daggers and I... Oh, you're right. I mouse over them and they don't have bleeds on them. This one has a bleed, but this is dex and arcane, like you said. Um, this one is bleed, but this one is just pure dex. But it is a greatsword dex. So actually, you could build a, a dex greatsword, which is kind of cool. There's also this thing. This is another dex curved greatsword. Um, some of these hatchets and other things could be good. Is this an ethical run? Absolutely not. Absolutely not an ethical run. Um, there's also this crystal greatsword, or crystal sword. But I think for the most part, I have basically... I'm trying to think here. I'm not sure what other weapons I would want next. I think the next thing I actually want to get chat is maybe 27 faith to put on the God Slayer seal. Because it, it just looks cool. And I also think I need 27 faith. We'll see. Noob question. How do you get keyboard icons for what buttons do? Oh, it's in options. It's uh right here. Go to the third tab and then device for on-screen prompts. Just put it to keyboard and mouse. Arcane is luck, so more luck means more bleed chance. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I mean, you'd still probably want to stack decks then. Um... But yeah, it's time to finally chat do this main quest, which is in this giant lake, and I've ignored basically everything in this lake for the last 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. So I guess it's finally time to see what the hell's going on around here. I'm trying to remember a little bit of what the game told me. If I remember correctly, there's like a mage city and I need to get a pass to get in. And so part of the pass is I need to go to this village. Pretty sure that's what I've been told. This game open worldy like DS or a bit more linear like Bloodborne? Oh, dude, this game's more open world like Breath of the Wild, apparently. That's what people say. What level are you? I am level, let's see, 57 now. Really, what's now? Congrats. Not on the name, obviously, but on everything else. <laughs> oh, and we have an elevator to the right, so that's probably how I got up to the top right before. I have almost the same hours as you. I'm still in the first area and 20 levels less WTF. Wait, there's a dude on a horse. Let's see if he's a boss. Oh, no, this, is, this guy looks kind of basic, actually. Okay, maybe not. He's kind of owning. That guy's annoying. <laughs> what is this stream title? It's the second half of the copy pasta from yesterday's title. 
Okay, so all the sorcerers around here, half of them are on horses, which are just, they're just annoying. It doesn't even look like they really drop anything either. I never played Sekiro. That game is very linear from what I remember. Oh, I mean, it's slightly not linear, but for the most part, it's a very linear experience. Okay, so we have another elevator to the right. We have this little thing here. Oh yeah, I've been here before. I've looted that. Phrase, it's just a game. Oh god. I think I'm gonna use that as my next stream title. That's a good one. What's the condition for finishing the game? I don't know. Which in itself is pretty sick. Also, this is so pretty at night. Holy crap. I know the FPS and the stutter suck, but they really did make a very beautiful game. Go chill out, lobster. Robo Joe, one year resub. Thank you. Hope you're well, Alien, enjoying Elden Ring. Very much so, enjoying Elden Ring. <gasps> Smithing Stone 3! <sighs> Yo, relax, dudes. What the heck? He's spitting at me. Alright, so we have this town over here now in front of me. Um, I might go to the right. I'm not sure if I went up to the right. Wait, is that a ramp that just goes up? Lazy Nut Cat, 40 month resub tier 3. Thank you. It looks like this actually just goes up to this entire right side, and there's nothing really fancy over here. It's just the path up. Yeah, and this is the bonfire. Wait, I have this bonfire. Gate Town Bridge. I'm like kind of re exploring where I was basically late last week before I started skipping all the main quests in this area, where, like, I, if I remember correctly, when I first got here, I ran up this whole right side. And then I got this, and then I just kept going all in a big circle. So I should probably just go back down to the town. Do you share what you're up to right now? Uh, basically, 30 hours in, did everything side questy that I wanted to do. Now I'm going back to the main quest, um, which would be... I guess I've only really killed one major story boss. So I'm not too far on the main story. And I, I want to continue the main story stuff a little bit. Because otherwise I'll end up being super giga over leveled. How do you know it's a main quest? Honestly, I don't I don't know if you actually do know. I just know because I just play too many games and I have a feeling. Hello crabs. Do your enemies not skill with you? No, they don't. It's actually really important, I think, for this game to make it so stuff does not scale with you. Because a lot of people who are not very good at Elden Ring can just run around and go farm and then come back and have an easier time, which is what basically 99% of people are going to do. You know, because Bonfire Arrow is pointing to it. Quag, don't they just point to any quest near you, though? It's not even just like these. These. So the Bonfire Arrows all point me top left, but look at all the Bonfire Arrows down here. They're pointing me everywhere. So I feel like it's just pointing me in a to anything. Wait, a new bonfire. Wait, I don't have that one. Wait. Actual new? Quick rest. I fucking hate Yo, no real. 72 month resub. That's a big number. 
It's a lot of years. Thank you. God damn, it's a long time. So I guess the other place, by the way, I need to go to, chat, is this river well, which I think will lead into a new section of the underground map that I've actually been in. Are you still playing Lost Ark? Nah. Well, yes, but not right now. Right now, I'm mostly playing the new WoW patch and enjoying my time with, like, the new raid and stuff. But once that slows down, um, I'll probably go back to Lost Ark, actually, and play around with it a little more. I'm not sure if there's anything over here on the far right. Like, I'm holding this wall as I come across, but I don't really know what's here. Just kind of like there's a bunch of these mage crystal rock things glintstone fireflies which obviously is for probably mage stuff um what are these guys oh it's just another plant okay lost art still going very strong on steam charts yeah i mean it has a ridiculous amount of content that they opened with one of the benefits of being an MMO that's out for years is, like, they have such a backlog of content that they can sort of drip feed it to you. Well, there's something red ahead of me. Wait, what is this? Is this a cave? <gasps> Wait, another red jelly! Wait. Red jellies are rare. This is where- the red jelly is where I got my jellyfish from. I gotta see what's up here now. Red Jelly wouldn't be mad and angry if there wasn't something juicy up here. Wait, this is like jellyfish land. What is this place? Oh no, they're all getting angry. Oh no, they're all aggroing me. Uh oh. I'm sorry, jellies. I didn't mean to intrude. Does your shield aggro them? That would be hilarious if they knew that I had a jellyfish shield on my back. It doesn't look like they even have any loot, though. It's just like jellyfish land, and that's it. I don't see anything. And that just jumps down. I mean, they have stuff over here. Like, they're sitting on some leaves, but nothing much. Okay, that's the bellboy, aka the big dog, um, which means, yeah, I think we just go double back now and go to this town, the Academy Gate town. There's two towns here, and they, look how big that town looks right in front of me. Holy shit. And that's not even counting the giant town over there. Oh, wait, maybe that is the same town I'm thinking of. Forgot my pants again. Thank you for 37 months. Stormcorp, 45 months. Thank you. Stormcorp said, auto-scaling enemies are horrible. Hated so much Skyrim. Got one hour of play before I quit it in disgust. <laughs> I know what you mean. I I think auto-scaling enemies are good if it's like maybe an option for people if they really wanted to enable it type of thing. But for the most part, I agree with you. So wait, wait, so this is, where am I now? Gate Town North. Oh, so this is North Gate Town? Auto scaling so you never feel powerful. Well, there's ways to still feel powerful and auto scale, but wait, what was that? Oh, that's a dragon. Wait, that's not a dragon. Is that a death bird? Oh, it's a death, death right bird.
I'm trying to buff up, dude. Give me a sec. All right, now it's time to game. I think I need to get some holy damage on for this guy in the future. What the? What the hell was that? That looks sick. Uh. -uh. Okay, we're chilling. How am I alive? Oh my god, I'm not alive. Dude, what the fuck was that? Okay, he's undead, right? So I need to... Let's get the... Okay, watch, watch, watch. I know what to do. That's an undead bird, 100%. There is no way he's not weak to holy damage, right? So we just put the sacred long... Uh, sacred uh, sword on instead. Or the, even the halberd. Actually, wait, let's try... The Halberd might actually be better than both, because the Halberd is, like, insane damage. It might even stagger him. And it's a f obviously holy. Alright, wait, let me try this. Am I fat rolling? What do I have to unequip? Uh, oh, I have to unequip the shield by doing this. Okay. And then we need to pass the time and then rest. Pass time until nightfall. 14k pepe hands. Oh, is it still there when I do this? I'm not sure. And then... Wait, don't you have to do this and then... I think we're good? Okay, let's go see if I can find my body now and see if he spawns. I'm not sure where he comes from, actually. I assume he comes down from the wall. Yep, we hear him. Oh, he just, he's just there. Okay. Let's buff up around the corner. Yeah, he gets shredded by the halberd in comparison, like double damage. Oh, <gasps> hitboxes. God bless. We need to run, we need to run, run, run. Fuck, that's the thing I need to learn how to dodge right there. Woo. This guy was sick.
Ancient Death Rancor? Did he just give me a spell? Also, shout out to the Holy Halberd. Shit owned. I didn't see what it was. It looked I looked like a spell, right? Although now, ditch the halberd, go back to the one-hander. I think actually if I just hit him with the one-hander too, I could have killed him that time. I think that's when he shot a thousand spears at you. Oh, maybe. Let's see what he let's see what he has here. Magic downpour. Yeah, here it is. Summons hordes of vengeful spirits that chase down foes. Requires 34 intelligence, 24 faith. Holy shit. 24 mana cost. The only one that costs more is actually my Great Blade, which is 43. That costs 29 intelligence. Damn. I think the other thing I need to get is uh, probably not electrify armament, but this guy, Flame of the Fell God. This thing looks sick and it's 41 faith. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get 41 faith anytime soon. Huge fire area. We, I mean, I saw the boss use it and, it and it was like a slow moving fireball that was just went boom. A massive boom. All right, a canopy gate town. What if there's any other bosses around here at spawn at night? Level up? Dude, I always forget about leveling up. Thank you for reminding me. Legit every single time I forget. I don't know if I should put it in faith or what, though. Like, okay, level up. So I can put in a nice health, endurance, strength, faith. I mean, I could put it in faith. Um, you know, there is the black flame fireball that I can get soon, but I think it requires like 20-ish faith. Hmm. Let's do it. I think it's somewhere. I just bought Elden Ring, my first Souls game. Any beginner tips? Um, I don't know if I would really give you that many tips because a lot of the... I would actually say go in as blind as possible and know that it is okay to not kill things the moment you see it if they seem very, very hard. Um, because the game probably doesn't intend for you to immediately kill everything unless you're planning on trying for hours until you, you kill it perfectly. That's the only thing. There's going to be a lot of guides online. So there's definitely guides for people who have new characters, right? It's like, let's say you made a first character, you want to make another one. There's going to be guides that are like, oh yeah, here's the route I take to get all of the like swords that I want. And I level up fast using like these places this is where I grind XP and stuff like that. But I wouldn't not use any of those um, if it's your first time. Just run around, have fun. And if you get stuck though, and you need to level up, Obviously, just go explore the map a little more. And then also, I do think it's okay if you're pretty far into a playthrough to farm a few levels. But just be, you know, don't want to actually break the game by getting too overleveled and stuff like that. But the locations of maps is marked by a little marker on your map. True. So when you first load in, your map will be mostly gray like this. Um, there will be stuff on your map that looks kind of like this. It's this thing. This is the only thing that really matters for like really beginner's tips. Like I had no idea what this was. Just go to it. I think it took me like 10 hours to realize that was a thing. And I kept having people come into my chat and be like, why does your map look so weird? And then I figured it out. Also, I think we should go in from the south side first. Let's teleport to the actual front. Sealed you activate your great rune. Also, no, have not activated a great rune whatsoever. Beep. 
I know I can. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I would say if you're a new player is read your tooltips. I don't know what stuff is on controller, but like if you go and you mouse over something and you click R, it'll give you a bunch of lore on the right, but at the bottom it'll tell you stuff that isn't immediately known. And that's actually really important. So like an example is... Um, if I do that on my jellyfish, it says it provides no protection from piercing attacks. And you would never know that. You would just think the shield was bugged. But streamer I can't read hasn't stopped me so far. All right, so I've killed... I think I've killed all those before. Oh, hey, guys. What's this loot here? Golden Rune 4. Nice. A little crabbies. Some more gamers up here. What's in here? Is this an actual building I can get into? But to find out. Oh, this is the normal bonfire I think I start with right here, huh? Yeah, Academy Gate Town. Moldy Chip, thank you for nine months. He says, just be like me. Spend 12 hours as a wretch fighting the grafted scion until you win. Yeah, I mean, everyone does things differently in their own games. Like, I spent five or six hours on some other boss in the bottom right corner of the map. Just for fun, because why not? How do you set up keybinds for accessing items in your pouch? Um, I think mine's just E1234. Not sure. I know that E1 is, or E2 is this one. E1 is this one. It's like really weird, actually. This is one, this is two, and then these two I don't even use. In fact, to summon it all, I just, I just hit escape and I summon. I spent 20 hours just to explore Limgrave. Isn't Limgrave just the first area? Hmm. Well, actually, I didn't explore. I think I explored most of it. Wait, aren't you the dude? It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Wasn't Lania the? Isn't this guy from the Round Table? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Wow, it's brutal. They laid hands upon my... The tale I... They laid a tail I... <laughs> Just double checking, you know, gotta make sure he doesn't have any more dialogue. I mean, these guys kind of hunt tarnish, but they're not very good at it. And they seem too low level to kill one of your servants. Although, hey, maybe, maybe she was a low level servant, who knows? Sounds like he was talking about other tarnished hunting tarnished. Yeah. Which is also kind of funny because it reminds me of uh, what's it called? Is he's basically saying that she got PvP'd invaded, right? And got ganked. Okay, there's a lot of gamers around here. Oh wait, I have the fire anymore. This is awkward. 
But it's also... Shit. I'll finish that, what I was saying in a second. But it's also kind of funny because right now in Elden Ring, it's like, from what I've seen, I don't think you can actually get invaded. You have to actually... There is no 1v1 invasions unless you sign up for it, right? Instead, if you want to get invaded, you have to actually summon. So no matter what, it's always a 1v2, right? I play offline for the FPS unlock and the FOV increase, so I wouldn't know. But from the little I've watched of other streamers who are doing a lot of the PvP, it looks like you always are 1v2. You can if you use Taunting Tongue. Oh, okay. But, that, but that's still the person has to sign up for it. 1v3 in my opinion from me invading 1v3 really damn all right so it's up top here Oh, nice. I got a shield. Albanorc shield. Oh, nice. Chess. Another glintstone craft. There's so much intelligence gear set up everywhere. I don't even, I'm not even a spell user. I can't even use it. You have to sign up. <laughs> You have to sign up to get invaded 1v1, but the invader always invades a higher level and usually 2v1 or 3v1. Huh. Wait, is this a new one? Wait, we have a, a seed maybe? Hey, we got a seed. Is this FOV a patch? No. I have to mod. There's mods out there that allow you to unlock FPS and FOV now. Um, but unfortunately, if you use them, the game considers it a cheat. and It'll ban you. So you just play offline instead where there's no anti-cheat. So the FOV works now? Yeah, it does. It does work. Although the beta on the first day was awesome. All right, I know there's that town in the middle, but I'm exploring every other piece of the town first, I guess, before I keep going. Like this says Gate Town North. Picture's nothing in this building. I'm the type of gamer chat, I will literally just run on every side path possible before I go on the main path, just in case. You know, you never know. And I found this guy. What'd you drop? Hey, somber smithing stone. Actually worth it. This guy dropped something. Ripple Crescent Halberd? Arcane Scaling. So if you were an Arcane build, this is for you. It doesn't scale with anything except Arcane, which is kind of absurd. Damn. That's huge. Usually stuff doesn't require that much arcane. What if it's a low drop chance from these guys? You'll probably just farm it out because I know there's a few other weapons that are low drop chance from... I don't know what these guys are called, but they kind of look like E.T. Alright, what's in this big building?
Anything else I've missed? Already looted that chest. All right, all right. It's time to head into the actual town now, I think. Should I go in through the front door or through the back? I've gone through the back before. I think I did. Wait, this is what I did last time. Wait, wait. Can you please summarize the lore thus far? No. I'm not. I'm not smart enough for that. All I know is we got a maiden, and that's that's kind of what's important in life. Oh shit! I didn't jump off. Wait, wait. There we go. Holy shit. Wait, this is... I've been here before. I've been here before. I did this before. This exact thing. I ran by everybody and there was a bonfire up here. Oh, let's just reset up here real quick. Alright. Now we reset all the mobs. And this is the South Raya Lucaria Gate. Which I suppose means if this is a gate town, I don't have the entrance to get in. So I assume I need the key. And in order to get the key... What's that big stomping noise? It was over there. Is it a dragon? What is that noise? Oh, it's a bear. He's just chilling under. Remember you looted a map here? Holy crap, I looted a map here? Key items. Oh yeah, I also have this. Join medallions to operate the Grand Lift of Dectus to operate the Grand Lift of Rolled. <laughs> it's just called Rolled. <laughs> Gain the power of the dragon at the Dragon Communion Altar. The beast clergyman seeks and devours these. Dude, there's actually so many. What the fuck? All right, keep going. What else we got around here? Info. Simple maps. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The mana came from surely desired one, the sole means of gaining entry, a glintstone key. So this looks like it's northwest of my current area. It's this thing, I think, right? Up here? Or... God, there's a lot of islands. Let me look at that again. I wish I could, like, compare it back to back with the map. But I think, I think it is around there. It is? Okay, cool. So the question is then, do I go get the key now or do I just kill everyone? <gasps> Blue white wooden shield. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a nice small shield? No skill. Rip. I was hoping, I was hoping for a parry shield. Oh, hey, buddy. There's a lot of flowers over there, too. I don't think I've really explored this entire left side here yet. I've explored up top, but I haven't explored that side. Switch back to fire. Maybe I should, because now I'm playing against normal mobs again. Do you have the parry ash of ore? I think I do, actually. So I could probably just put a parry on it if I really wanted. What I hear a noise. It might be on this building. Or it might be under me. I hear the twinkling. Who's this guy at the end of the bridge?
see what he's got. Wait, I can't even kill him. It's just an NPC. You. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. All right, read it. Michaela's favor can be yours. <sighs> slaughter. 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 <sighs> the all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. Poor, poor fool. <laughs> God, she's so creepy. You, please, you. So wait, wait. She does it over and over again. Michaela's favorite could be yours. Slaughter the all-hearing slaughtered, but it was for not. But all you need to is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> snatch it from the big pot. Pretty. So is there like a pot NPC or something? Also, I see loot down there too. There's loot over there to the right. Kill her? Nah, it's mean. Ooh, can I open this door? Nope. There's a decent amount of loot down here. Um, there's more loot down there, too. We have these guys who are just chilling. Can I jump on this rooftop? Almost missed. Yeah, you guys don't see me right there, okay? We're cool. Shatter shard arrow fletched? Wait, that, that thing's glowing right there. Wait. How, how do I hit that? It's on the roof. Shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect going to put me to sleep. Smithing stone too. Alright. Shall we have to hit that somehow? Um I think I, I have throwing daggers. We'll just use these, I guess. And hopefully these guys let me just walk in a little bit. Do you have to actually manually aim it? How do I hit this guy? Lock on? I can't. Use a bow? I don't have a bow. I don't even think I can throw knives that high. No, it's only... It's it's throwing way up. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Let me do this. Oh, that was getting closer. Okay, I don't know. This is a waste. <laughs> Need a bow? Alright, let's look for a bow. Bow check? Shit, I don't have a bow. I'm just gonna just... Spear it, I guess. But you can't lock on, so you have to... I guess you have to... Manually aim this? Oh, it's weird. You have to, like, aim higher than it, like up here? Got it. Hell yeah.
Ash of War charge forth. Wait, that thing looks busted. It's a polearm charge. The ones that other people do. Spears OP? Yeah, that one looks insane. Is this another golden seed or the same one from earlier? I think it's the same one. Same one. Go find the key. Should we go find the key now? I mean, the game is basically telling me I should go find the key right now. And I think it was like over here somewhere. Let's go. Also, uh, Doom Nito, 27 month resub earlier. I appreciate you. Crypt Monarch, 17 months. Thank you. Chat, I like the pasta you're cooking in chat. You're, you're doing a good job. My compliments to the chef of that pasta. Okay, are they all gonna do lightning at me? Oh, they are. These guys, man. These guys are so annoying. Oh, not lightning. Okay, what is this? Okay, wait, just loot this and run. I mean, I am in a magic zone. The music just got way more ominous, by the way. I'll have to check out the map again in a minute, but the temple quarter, okay. Oh, look at that guy spin, he's spinning. What a, what a gamer. All right, oh, this guy's holding something. Rhymed crystal bud. Okay. If I was the key, where would I be? It's like, let's check the map again while we're up here. Try and get out of this place real quick. The game definitely doesn't want me to cheese by going up this hill. They put a whole clip on it. All right, I think we're safe in this corner for a sec. All right, so this is where we're at right now. Right here, yeah? I think it might be up here. Let me check the map. Okay. It is this. It is this. Okay. It is this, this thing. But what is this place for then? There has to be something here. They wouldn't just put like a summoner and 20,000 things here without it, right? I think. Loot? What, here? It's just these guys and plants. Wait, oh, oh, oh loot! Ice rind hatchet? So I get an ice hatchet? What the? Hoarfrost stomp? Dexterity strength causes frost buildup. Does it look cool? Is this thing just a fucking ice cube? On a stick? Oh, well that looks sick. All right, well, maybe you could do that in PvP and troll people. What the heck? Is this a low energy XQC title? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Zoomer, all right? We all know the king of putting pastas in the title was I'm a cutie pie six years ago, okay? All right, mushroom times one. Can we get some raise your dongers in chat in respect to the god? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh god, dude. I miss the old memes. Take me back. I'm unhappy I just heard that sentence. No, you're not. You're not. Okay. Oh, I found it. There's this thing. There has to be loot here, right? Beyond all these mobs just sitting here. Unless it's just the mob farming and that's it. I got the chest. I, I guess it really is just here for all the mobs. Maybe it's a good, uh, like, mob thing. I don't know. It's really weird, because it, it, they wouldn't put all this stuff here for nothing. And usually when they put a bunch of stuff like this, that means there's fat loot. I guess I can kill this guy real, quick, real fast. We don't have any fire on. Wait, wait. I take it back. I take it back. I didn't mean to, bro. He did find a chest. True. Maybe specific time of day. Also, probably true. There could be like a nighttime boss here. Oh, well. I got a bonfire, at least. Onward. I got a bunch of floaty boys out here. Wait, is all this just floating loot? Wait, why? What the fuck? What'd that just give me? That was weird. It regens your mana flask? Wait, let me, let me test this. One more. Also, I didn't know the lightning spear actually does an AoE when full charged. That's pretty sick. Oh, it did. It gave me plus one flask. Nice. Uh, who the fuck is that? A, is that a dragon? What is that? that that's 100% a dragon. I, wait, wait, I know what to do here. I know what to do. We know what to do, chat. It's totally just a crab? Nope, that is 100% a dragon. And we have prepared for this, chat. We have actually prepared. Because with us, chat, we know the strategy. You ready? It is called... You go heavy right and then i can electrify lightning sword this shit the true game time so i can i know they're weak to lightning so i'm gonna spam lightning spear and my lightning sword and i'm also gonna summon the doge and this dragon's gonna get fucked calling it now it's a crab there's no way that's a crab Dude, look at this guy. I can't even hit him. I'm stuck. I think this is a horse fight. 
He's beefy boy. What the hell is that? Wrong button. Shit. I'm dodging. Bro, can you just stop? Is Dragon Wound Grease? Woohoo! Big damn? Yo, yo, hit your shots, dude. Okay, he's just going through him. He's cheating. What the fuck? Is it outranged by like a like a tiny bit? I've been I've been trolled. Wait, what is this? Loot? Oh, I got the key. Oh, so I don't even have to kill this guy if I didn't want to. That's awfully polite. Stop running. He takes more damage from this than my actual weapon. I only do like 100 damage per swing with my sword. Come back. Come back, Beetle. I need the mana. Beetle. Got his spear is bigger. Okay, I think I know what to do here. I think I just swap to the halberd and I get the fuck in. Because the longsword doesn't do anything. Even your golden halberd. No spells required. It's game time. See shit, Captain.
fuck? I thought I was behind the rock. I went for the heal and I couldn't interrupt it because I thought I was behind the rock. I wasn't close enough. <laughs> this guy owns. Okay, okay, okay. I need to find out. So the lightning sword didn't do anything. The halberd actually does do pretty good work. So I think what we probably want to do is just go at him with the halberd. I thought the lightning sword would do anything, but it didn't. Sword over halberd is faster, but I think I can stagger the dragon. So he's sleeping right now. This is a perfect time, chat. Perfect time. Watch and learn. Enhanced charge attacks. I still have the talisman on. All right, all right. Do we get... Let's get the ancestral follower on. Yeah. Two-hand this big boy. And let's go wakey-wakey. Can I headshot him while he's down? Shit! Awkward. Oh my god, it's so delayed. Get him, Ancestor. I know your arrows will do something. 89 damage, it's big. Oh my god, he ran. That was the, that's the biggest wind-up of my life. Woo! But he's down, he's down. Oh shit! Why only the other eye? What? I've been trolled. Wow, I got I got actually baited going for that. I figured it was just an eyeball, but no, it was only it was fuck. But there's only did he does he only have one eye? Is that why he gets it doesn't work? Although I will say, by the way, the Ancestral Follower was pretty good. They was hitting for 90, so it's, it's okay. I think you might need to be locked on for it. No, 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 no. It was, it was because I didn't, I didn't have enough time. Um, the, the glowing eye is there still after it's no longer possible to uh, get the crit. <laughs> That's a charge attack. Wait, what? That was max range. This is a whole lot of bullshit. Get him, follower. Get him. I can't get it. I can't get it. I'm stuck behind his wing. Oh, 
Uh oh, I'm dead. <laughs> just, just slow. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my god, it costs a it costs a flash charge to resummon my horse? Yes, do it. Maybe heavy mounted attacks are too slow. Enemy felled. Dragon heart times one. A new dragon power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Okay, where the fuck is the is my Dragon Communion at? Well, at least I got the I got the key too. This was sick. Only cost a flask if your horse died. Gotcha. It's a small island in the very first area that you missed. <laughs> Wait, maybe I should just read it. Because I actually have multiple dragon hearts I haven't used, right? And they're all key items, I think? Yeah. Gain the power of the dragon at the dragon commune altar. Okay, okay I don't know what I expected. There's also the divine tower. I should probably do that at some point. Because there was, um, let's see. There's one in the red area. Because look, I also have the great rune that I never figured out how to use. And it says, seek the divine tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the bridge from Stormvale Castle. And it's like, okay, so Stormvale Castle's here. And I assume that it's here then. There's like a bridge somewhere, I assume. Or maybe this is it? Is this the is this a bridge? Wait. Is it this thing? I mean this is a bridge. If I've seen a bridge, that's a bridge. The Dragon Communion Island is the island at the start of the game. Wait, like down here? Well no no no, that's too far down, right? It would be Maybe the Dragon Burnt Ruins in the first step. Oh maybe it's this one. I mean wait, can I even get to this island? Wait, I've never tried to go there. Yes? Oh my god. Alright, well, okay, we have a few things to do then. Alright, Great Rune or this thing? There's a trick? Don't tell me the trick. It's part of the playing. We'll get there when we get there. Great Rune? Oh, yeah, okay, let's do the rune. So it says beyond the bridge. So I assume then I have to go up here. Which means, here, just go to the shack. I'll see you all in 20 hours when Siegel uses the glintstone key. <laughs> it's too real. There you are. Hey, oh, yeah, this guy sells stuff too that I keep forgetting about. It's like if I ever needed parry, he sells parry and stuff like that, so. Not floating your book. Although I don't think I use any of his stuff, but it's there. Might as well level up while I'm here. Wait, oh, never mind. I need 20k runes. Holy shit, I'm too high level. Ah. You have golden runes? Should I pop them all and see how much I got? Let's see. Actually, I like saving my golden runes. It sounds dumb, but I know I'm going to need I need them eventually. 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Did they all just spawn? Get out of here. You're like level one. It was like a... It was, this come out of the sky? I don't understand. They're literally dropping out of the sky. What the fuck? I hear giants over yonder. It's a wolf NATO. What? What the fuck? What is that? Fucking special forces wolves out here. Luckily, I'm over leveled for you guys. Come here. Oh my god. His movement's insane. Oh, and invited guess where he did that, boss. Okay, how many more wolf nados are there gonna be, dude? Keeping my eyes open, eyes to the sky. Wait, why did it just kick me off my mount? Oh, this is like a no mount zone. That's weird. Oh, I never been in here. Invaded by rescue. Okay, so we have an NPC. One sec. How's it feel, NPC? I'm just gonna left click spam you into death. How's it feel, huh? Furl calling finger remedy. New hammer talisman. Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. Oh, so that's like an anti cheese PvP talisman or something. Where like a PvPer has a giant shield and just hides. Maybe you put that on. Competitive multiplayer. Use the duelist to, to write a red summon sign. Competitive. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes... This is just enabling PvP. Okay. Why will this door not open? No more jellyfish build? Oh, yeah. I, I was just on a dragon. And so I had to put on the, the normal sword first. But I can go back to the... I really do like the, the basic sword build. I am a big fan of basic sword and jellyfish. Can you put parry on the jelly shield? You probably could, but it would remove the buffs. You probably don't want to. Um, also, Meow Max earlier, 23 month resub. Cute cupcake. Cutie cup. I'm not sure if I butchered your name. I guarantee you I did. Thank you for the 28 month. I don't know why I said cute cupcake, actually. Also, I don't know if there's anything in this place. I'm just looting every flower. What the? Oh, hey, loot. I got some grease. this little thing is it's like a little something this whole area i don't think i've ever been to in the top right corner
You have a nice sword. Just a bunch of goblins out here. Stay back, you fiends. Rainbow stone. More of the same over here, it looks like. Wait, there's like... These guys are just hanging out watching something. They were like studying something over there. It was weird. They were all crouching and they're burning people. So, you know, they're totally fine. Um, but they, they were studying something over there. And I think it looks like there's a dude there actually, which is weird. I don't see anything else. Let's go this way. So yeah, no way I can get over here. Oh, it's like a statue. How do I get up there? Oh yeah, we have this whole main town. I've been here a few times. I think this is the first main town I ganked at the start of the game. <laughs> it's like I came here over and over for like an hour or two until I died. Might be a different one, actually. Actually, I think the one I was at was at a different one. Uh, oh yeah, there he is. There's something over there. And also, there is a statue here. Wait, wait, wait. Give me your loot. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Wait, it just took something. Is it... Did it take my death root? What is that? Or is it just... It's just... I... What? Oh, no, no, no. It's just pointing. It's just pointing where to go. And saying there's something over there. So I missed a cave. Yeah, yeah, It's just telling me what a cave is. One sec. I want to see what this guy is down here. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please. Can you help me out of this? Help him. My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. Hey! And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. Uh, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Uh... Come on. I'll pop clean... <laughs> Triumphant delight. Ah, well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Aww. Exalted flesh. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. Oh yeah, you gotta level up, buddy. these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted, calid wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. Oh, true. I'd heard whispers of such. Wait, I know this festival. Before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> we actually know about this festival, check, because that's what the guy was talking about down there. 
I'm heading to Redmayne. I've heard. But the castle said it was only at the right time with the stars. But I went back at night and it didn't work. So. Maybe I'll actually see him at the festival now that I saved him from being stuck in his hole. I hope so. He seems cool. Oh, and this is another bridge. But this isn't the cave. Wait, we see... There's a, there's a head dude down there. Wait, wait. He <laughs> did no damage with fists. He's like, I'm running. Oh, nice bonfire. Quick rest. Yeah, this is telling me there's something over here I'm missing to the north, which is fine. I'll do that in a sec. Oh, interesting. Oh, I don't... I was like... Wait, does he see me? I want to buff. One sec, dude. Yeah, he's still hitting his hat. He's fine. I forgot I unequipped my spellcaster stuff. For when I had the halberd on. I may as well just buff myself real quick. Then we go at him with the spear, boys. Poor guy, man. I feel bad for him. They're just locked in. They can't even see anything. All right, now we need to find out where apparently this other stuff is. Dude, I, I don't even think I've been to this side of the map. Limgrave. Wait, is this all Limgrave up here and I've just never explored the top side of this map before? I've only went to the third church and I looted down there and I think that was it. Are you here as a customer? <laughs> you just say, oh, that's awesome. Pickled turtle, nomadic warrior's cookbook. Oh, he sells a short sword. Interesting. And the most basic halberd possible. It is called halberd. Flame chariots, bandit mask, if you want to look cool. And a crack pot. Do I do the crack chat? Are crack pots worth it? I'm buying the cookbook. I'm just buying it. Why not? Should I buy his note? We'll see what he tells me. It's 300 runes. He's cheap. I'm afraid of very little to offer. Yeah, I know. You, it's okay that you have little to offer. All right, flame chariots. A well-aimed blow to the chimney may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare. Wait, that's actually big brain. He just told me that... Okay, that's sick. That's actually worth the knowledge. So plunging attack the weird flame chariots. And you'll probably one-shot him, is basically what it's saying. Now we need to figure out where this cave is. Um, the cave could be down here, but I'm not sure how to get down here. Wait, that looks like a cave of, of some kind. That's a, a campfire, right? Um, maybe I can get down from here, actually. Also, Gloss, thank you for 18 months. Appreciate you. Or maybe I can't get down from here. Let's see where this connects. This connects all the way... Wait, I already, I already have the Merc Water Catacombs. Wait, do I just run north even further? Wait, wait, wait. Let me just do this. I can just teleport here and run north. And run out. Or maybe I can't. Shit. There should be... If I remember right, there is a... Yeah, there's a lift here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I 
how on earth am I supposed to get down that far? I feel like this is a path, but I'm not sure if it's the right path. It looks like I'm supposed to go from the other side, but I can drop here and live. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and the other statue is also pointing that direction right now. Ah, right, we're gaming. Onward. Yo, big boy, chill. All right, so what's over here? Wait, there's an another lift. Wait, there was a lift next to the bridge the whole time? Oh, dude. Awkward. Yeah, that's awkward. Wait, maybe it's a different bridge? <laughs> maybe? of shit wait 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 I found a cave <laughs> that's grace <laughs> devs hate him lantern on Well, this is an interesting cave. The mosquito is your guide, yeah. All right, what's in here? Hello, wolf. We cool? I want to wish to explore these caves in peace. Oh, that's awkward. I lied. ganked his whole family. A golden rune? Is there anything else up top here? Hmm. Looks like we're going into the pit, boys. Descend. Uh. Uh. Dude, fall damage in this game is so spooky. I don't know if I'm going to die or live or what, but it seems safe. Also noted, thank you for the 22-month resub. I appreciate you. Uh, How do I drop from here? Left? Drop here? I kind of fell. Oh, and the wolf died here. Oh, that's tough. All right, boys, left or right? Left, right, one, two, one, two. Going right. Oh, found more wolfies. Actually, you killed that wolf. His body fell. Maybe. All right, let's go see what's up on the left. I heard water in the front. Shan, I feel like I'm in Diablo 2's maggot lair right now. Small ass tunnels. No idea where I'm going. Arteria leaf. There's a... Fire... There's so many wolves. I'm hearing a waterfall. 
I think this goes back to where I just came from. I'm going to double check just to make sure. Um, okay, I I'm lost. <laughs> going forward? What the? What the? How big is this cave? Shit! Piece of shit fucking bat! God damn it! Oh my god. All right, just walk back. Wait, that's not a much of a walk. Wait, we're right here. We're gaming. Oh, max range, by the way. All right, all right, round two, round two. Oh my God, they're out of range. I'm over leveled for this area, but I can still die by falling off the map. Have I put any points in mana? No, not even once. Smithing stone. What the? Creepy lads. <gasps> Loot behind waterfall. Another golden rune. Map check streamer? I, I am deep in, in the abyss. Wait, how do I get out of this without dying? Hey, wait. Jump? You can't swim in this game, you die. Let's look around. One more, one more. Uh-oh. There has to be something next to me. Oh, there is something under me. Dude, that's not intended for me to go there, right? I think I'm just supposed to make this jump. <gasps> I'm not. Fuck, there was a ledge! God damn it! All right, stick. God, I love stick. I know where you spawn now, you nerds. All right. Saved, saved. We're out here gaming. Shit. Okay. All right, just don't fall. Oh, one sec, bats, you stay right there. I gotta drink up, charge it. Okay, I don't know. What's the point in charging? Sham shear? A curved sword. Strength and dex. Oh, wow. That's got a nice, nice combos. Do 
this spin right here is only the heavy attack. This is not the weapon art. This is just the heavy attack. That's that. That's the weapon art right there. And it's a. Uh, is it different with a two hander? Maybe, but it's it's meant to be a one hander. It looks sick. Very cool weapon. Very stylish. Up and around. Ew. Devs hate him. Land octopus ovary. Okay. Kind of creepy. I look for that, but... Oh, here we go. Big loot? It's just a finger. God damn it. Wait, is this a secret path? Oh, shit. Where am I going? <gasps> Boss. Wait a minute. I've seen these guys, but they were on fire before. I can I can take this guy. I don't even have mana. I can't even get mana. <laughs> Plunging attack mod check? No, 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 no. We don't need it, chat. We don't need it. Devs hate him. His head's in the wall. I can't backstab him. Oh, wait. It's his chest this time. A dancer charm? Wait. So it is meant for the dancer then. Like... Raise attack power with lower equipment load. Wait, what? Is this a speedrunner or talisman? So you do more damage the less you have on. So you just equip one sword and just run around. Go naked. Yeah. How? I, wait, 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 wait. Let me see how much damage I do right now, chat. Right? Right now, two-handed, no buff, 369, right? And let's unequip everything. Are these bolts considered to be part of the load? No, they're not. They're not. Okay. They're just random. So how much damage do I do now? If I equip that talisman... Three ninety two. Wait, that's actually not as big as I thought it would be. But I mean it's nice. Thirteen percent more damage. Yeah, I mean it's nice, but it's not like huge. Now which ones did I have on? Oh god. I think I have the hood on. Probably the confessor gear. Not sure if I had the heavy chest on or not. Get some trousers in here. I definitely had the, the Confessor chest on. 
And I think the confessor chest was only to look cool. You had a helmet on? Oh, okay, okay. So then I had this on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did I have hair or not? No hair. Hmm. I mean, I can keep the hair on for now then. Or I can have a hood. The exile hood. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Pretty sure I had either... It was this one. I just had the Godric soldier helm on, I think. But if you want to look crazy... I put on the hair. And then we can put on the sword and shield again. Look, the hair can't clip. I mean, it clips through the jellyfish, but like, it just looks like a bubble anyway. Change your charm back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was using the one that was just charge attacks. Charge attacks, it's really hard. The other ones that we could do is stuff like um, like max HP or slowly regen. I think if we, all you're doing is running around the world, the slow regen is actually really nice. And so is this. Crits restore mana could also be really good. But I'm just going to go for slow restore health because it's, it's just so convenient. You don't have to use flash when you run around. More damage. So I think you swap to the more damage when you find a boss. Can you show where you are in the map and the cave? Yeah. This cave is actually pretty well hidden. Um, it's just up here. Right above the north bridge. If you go to this bridge, there's a lift. Jump down the lift and just run up here and you're good to go. And that place also dropped the other one. Which was... Uh, whatchamacallit. Not the sword. It was the curved sword. Yeah, this one. This one had very fancy moves. Oh god, what were we doing out here again? We were... Weren't we supposed to find the dragon? Here, here's the dragon one. We know the dra this is Dragon Island down here. And then we needed to do the, the communion. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We need to find communion. Uh, let me look at what it said again. It was, like, very particular in how it said it. Seek the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Stormvale Castle. This is a bridge. It is a massive bridge. It has to be here, but the bridge is broken, so we must be able to teleport. So I assume we have to go here. Maybe. I'm kind of leaning towards just... Let's just go here and then run to the right. Jumping mod check? Listen, if I could jump that high, chat, I'd be in the NBA. Let's go. Alright, wait. How do I get there, though? Man, I haven't been back here in ages. Oh, man. This is going to be weird. Chat, where do you... Do you think there's a way I can fall here and not die? Wait. Chad, do you think I can fall here and not die? Wait. How much runes do I have? 19k? Yeah, I'm just gonna test. Alright. We were just testing. Use a rainbow stone. But why? I'm right next to a bonfire. A rainbow stone is just a waste. Just jump to that roof instead? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I could do that. That's probably easier. Made it. Okay. And I need to go there. 
God, I have too many beacons on my map. Ch ch Old me put down beacons everywhere and I never took them away and now I'm suffering. Apparently there's one all the way out there somewhere. I need to go to four. Where is one? Oh my God, one is all the way out here, isn't it? Old you kind of a jerk. Yeah, true. Hey, birdies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I went this way the first time. All right, come here. This is the path I actually took my first time here. No, you don't see me, birdie. Chill, chill. What the fuck is this guy? Okay. I think I need to get down. Maybe not there, because I think that just leads to the front, which is certain death. Although I've never really even cleared it out. I guess I could clear it out at some point. There is some loot. It looks like... Wait. Shouldn't I just go from the entrance then and just run up the right? What am I doing out here? You think I can make it through the entrance? I know there's a lot of dudes, but like, how bad could it be? <gasps> oh no. Wait, is this the double? Wait. There's a shortcut here with a key that I've used... Wait, what does this go to? This goes to... Is this the spooky place in the church? Okay, wait, wait, Yeah, we did all this. We did all this. And then if I remember correctly, we opened a shortcut somewhere. I just don't remember where. Wait, why is this purple again? Why can I loot here? Crimson hood? Wait... Chat, is that the girl who died? No, 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 I don't want to go up again. Shit, am I dead? Made it! Let me in, you bitch! Shit! Yeah, that's right. That's right. I go out the left. I definitely unlocked a shortcut over there at some point. Um, maybe I just run out the right side here and just leave. All right, run, run, run. Oh my god, look how much loot there is on the ground, though. Dude, I have so much loot I want. All right, run down the mountain. They can't see me here. Sal grieves. This place is certain death, isn't it? F? Yeah, the internet is kind of up and down this evening. Hopefully it comes back. This one's pretty bad. Chat, the internet actually like hard crashed earlier. I reset the modem. It came back and it was still just getting dumpstered at a solid uh, 0 0.3 upload. All right, 0 0.3. It was big. But then I tested it again 10 minutes later. And right now it is surprisingly okay. And it was stable for another 10 minutes. So I figured I'd risk turning on the stream.
We'll see. My eyes, I know, I'm sorry. This game flashbangs you legit. like every time you launch this fucking video game, it flashbangs you. God, the music is so good. It's so dramatic, man. I love it. Rush B. <laughs> just, you're gonna get loaded into a game like Valorant or CS. There's just gonna be a bunch of randoms on your team. Just play that music as you're rushing a bomb site. Seems good. Seems good. All right, all right. Here we go. So, chant. Before the internet went down, about, what, 30, 40, it might have been an hour ago, actually. We were very clearly discussing, in unison, how the fuck do I get to this island, was one of them. And then the other one was, how the hell do I get across this bridge? And so, we came up with the plan. The plan was, TP to the start, and then just run down the bridge from in here, somehow. Not sure how to do that yet, but... We're trying. Um, also, I had to leave the area I was in earlier, so I don't even know how I got there to begin with. I just know it's around here somewhere that I can get there. Wait, maybe it's this way. Wait, I never actually got on this path. All right, never mind. I got baited. Nothing here. But that is the current intended path. And so one of them is to actually... So as far as I know... Um, this place over here is to use my great runes, and then this over here is to use my dragon hearts. And I want to use both of these before I continue the main story quest. I know there's got to be a way in somewhere, and I assume, I mean, I might be able to go this way, but I'm trying to remember where this side path is. Oh, nice smithing stone. Sub bird. There's another grace right here. Did I have this grace? I actually did Stormvale Cliffside. Okay, so this isn't it. Because this just goes up the side path. Is there no, like, how do I open the front door? I want to open the front door. This is the strat. Also, Skeezy with a 64 month resub earlier. I missed you, I think, when I was AFK. Thank you, Skeezy. Just knock? To tell the dude to open it. <gasps> Wait, you mean this guy? I killed him. Oh, fuck. That's awkward. All right, never mind. I'm going this way. Yeah, I killed him. The first thing I did in this game was I saw that NPC and I killed him. I ganked his ass so fast. All right, wait. Okay. The devs hate him. Easy shortcut, easy shortcut. All right, now we cut to the courtyard. All right, then we go to the right. So fast, it took like 30 swings. Okay, you're not wrong. Wait, we don't have to actually go this way because then we can go straight in here. We already used the stone sword key in here. So you didn't watch the reveal gameplay video of this? No. I've watched I watched no videos of Elden Ring prior to me playing the game. Uh, he steals runes from you every time you die in the castle. I killed him. Wait, does he actually? That's just mean. Wait, this is the shortcut. Look at this. You just drop here now? Right? Kill all these crossbow dudes? It's not like they can turn around. Wait, who steals runes in the castle? He's saying that the guard at the front of the castle steals runes from you when you die, which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but... Yo, chill. I don't know, because I killed him instantly, right? So... Okay, okay. 
I think we just go that way. Like, literally forward to the right and call it good. We can also summon in here, which I'm going to do. Give me the follower. The follower shreds. Oh shoot, he's got a flamey boy. Oh fuck. Okay, maybe I don't actually kill these guys. Who the fuck is that? Is that a big dog? What the fuck is that? Alright, run, run, run. I don't think they can follow me in here. The dog is too big. This room seems like it has something in it, but it is fancy, I guess. Just checking. All right, let's go. Let's go. <gasps> Bonfire. What's a Fipsy? Three-year resub. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Bolt Drake Talisman? The fuck is that? It sounds like a lightning thing? Boost lightning damage negation. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually... That could be nice. A little bit ominous. They give it to me here before I go across this giant bridge. Oh, we got a big boy head. Big boy head. Unequip, boys. Unequip. What's the... Oh, remove. Get the halberd on. We're gonna stagger this kid. Buff up. It's time to roll. That's awkward. I can't get to it. Get chopped the legs. Wait, you can probably just run by them. Wait, there's a third guy all the way in the back. Wait, I think his teammate just killed him. That's awkward. Shit. Are you gonna fall? Wait, he didn't fall over. What the heck? I got trolled. Golem's halberd? Oh shit, that third guy's owning. <gasps> Wait, if I hide behind this guy, the third guy in the back is doing a friendly fire. Let's chop him. Okay. Golem's halberd times one. All right. I know what to do here, boys. You guys want to see the turtle in action, dude? We actually need the great turtle shell for this. Okay. The turtle can block anything. Even that. What's the turtle shell special? To block unblockable attacks. Alright, wait, wait. One more, one more. 
Okay, that was holy fuck, it almost broke me on that one. Alright, nerds down. Golem Great Bow? Holy shit, I finally got a bow. Oh my god, dude, this is the first time I've had a bow the whole fucking game. It's the first bow I've ever... 18 decks. God fucking damn it. I need to get 18 decks. I need one decks. So yeah, th what this shield does, chat? Barricade. Focus your energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect blows. So it's like a, you get like a super block for a minute. And it already has 100% physical mitigation. So I can just run at him. Okay. Teleport me. Also, uh, Jolt Strike during that five month resub. Thank you, Jolt Strike. Says, I don't want to be spoiled, but enjoy the game streamer. Thank you for dropping by. You're very kind. Did that say stamina boost too? Oh, yeah, that's the turtle in general. Um, the turtle shell has a passive that says it boosts your stamina recovery speed, like the. What was it? The green something shield in Dark Souls 3? I usually use this one, though. The jellyfish. Show show the golem halberd. Uh, let's see how big this big boy is. Wait, can I even equip the golem halberd? How big is this thing? Oh, it's a colossal weapon. It takes 36 dexterity. Holy shit. And you have a, a chase attack with it. It's actually not bad in terms of not as big as the wall sword. Yeah, it's, it's just a giant weapon though. So if you really wanted to, you could use it. All right, let's go see what's in here. Oh, the Divine Tower. Oh, I actually made it. Wilkins. 39 month resub. Tier 3, no less. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Very kind. Oh, shit. What's in here? Looking cool. Feeling cool. Going up. Not seeing any loot as I spin my camera. This is very pretty. Send it back down our way out. It's a long one. I assume it's this thing, right? Eh, who cares? <gasps> Bonfire here. Touching grace. What does the jellyfish shield do? Uh, it has 100% physical mitigation, except versus piercing attacks. And it also buffs you. Is this a big boy or what is this? Go level up decks. Oh yeah, I can actually level up decks and use the bow. Wait, wait let's go do that. I'm down. I do have like 20k souls and that did look kind of like a boss, so. Okay. I don't know if it was a boss, but he kind of looked like one. Oh, nope. It's just a body. Oh, nope. It... I don't know what this is. Restore the power of the great rune. All right, big, big. New. Godric's Great Rune. Okay, but what'd that do? Wait, these are the two fingers, streamer? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, that's creepy. Very creepy. 
So wait, how do I... Okay, so grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. That's the rune arc. Um, how do I know what the Godric thing does? You equip it when resting? Okay, let me go back. Let me go back here then. Rests. Great runes. With the great rune menu, you can equip great runes that have had their power restored. You can use a rune arc to give even greater benefits. Oh, raises all attributes. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm in. A rune arc is like an ember. Uh, so all attributes. Before I had 17 decks, I think. Did I just say raise everything by one? Didn't I just have 17? Now I have 18. Or maybe I... Because I don't remember having 30 vigor either. Is it just one? Didn't you have 15 decks? Well, the different screens. Cracking a rune arc will make them go up even further. Huh. Test bow on bird. Holy shit, we're so high up. This is insane. What is that I'm looking at all the way out there? I don't even know. Wait, is that the Kalid Castle down there? I'm looking this way. Wait, I've never been there. I have no idea what any of that is. That's like a whole new zone out there, right? And then same thing with that. That's all on high ground I've never been to. Wow. Zesty Xander. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you were enjoying it. Okay, so chat, the next thing we have to do is the dragon thing. And somebody told me this, this is the dragon island. Which is right next to your house that you start in, basically. Do great runes have passes when you're not using rune arcs? I think they're supposed to. Someone in chat said they do, but wait, what the heck is this? An actual message? I'm offline. How am I getting a message? Find yourself maidenless? Off to Lyurnia with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of the gate town. Wait, what? What? Do, 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 do. Bravo. West of gate town. Chat, isn't that like here? The temple quarter? Here's the gate town, right? The church is to the west, so isn't it just one of these? Seek out the Rose Church. Okay. I should actually go there now, because I have to find the church. Oh, and there's this place over here. I don't think I ever really explored this starting area that much. Okay. How am I supposed to get across? Let's see. Oh, there's something below me. Oh, there's a dude. Wait, what the heck? Actual quests. Oh, it's a merchant. What do you need? I don't want any purchase. Alleviates poison buildup, alleviates blood loss, sleep, expands your crafting. I'm just gonna buy that. Broadsword. Club short bow. So this guy sells a bow here the whole time. Note on land squirts and stone digger trolls. Buy some arrows. You don't have a lot. Well done. What? How do I know how many arrows I have? I have bolts, but no arrows. So, and I suppose I have to shoot arrows and not bolts. I mean, I have a decent amount of dwelling arrows and stuff like that. Oh, I mean, may as well equip some more basic okay? ones. I don't want any they seem super cheap. Bolts are for crossbows? Gotcha. I don't know. Just get like 20 of them or something. Well 
done? Well, we... Cheap and easy. Okay. So obviously I'm supposed to get to this island somehow. And obviously we can't swim. So clearly there has to be a way across somewhere. Look at the size of that thing. Messages you put down yet get automatically translated in different languages. The Japanesers play as though there was a secret boss they haven't found because they keep founding Fortnite message all over the world. <laughs> Wait, really? That's awesome. That's hilarious. What the? Oh my god, this is the way up? What the heck? Can I jump into that? And go down that way instead? Yes? Alright, wait, wait. Boom. Gold pickle foul foot. Oh shit. Fucking stupid. The water just gave out right under me, dude. <laughs> I wanted to check behind the waterfall, man. It was right there. Ah. Oh. What are those resists that pop up? That was weird. Stop killing your pony, I swear to God. <laughs> His name is Torrent. Alright. Get it right. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, where was this? Wasn't this below me somewhere? Oh my God, it's actually really far down. His name is my owner kills me every five minutes. Kind of true. Wait, I didn't double jump. <gasps> it still gave me the buff. Thank you. Alright. So we need to find a way across, chat, that doesn't involve these zombies. I don't think I'm supposed to just, like, double jump across with the thing. There has to be a way under. Right? Or, like, a boat. So let's look around for either... A cave, maybe, to go under it? Or we look for a boat. And if I'm a dev, I put it around here somewhere. And then there it is. What do we have here? Jay, you guys like my jellyfish glows? Coastal cave. I don't even need my lantern. I'm a jelly. Maybe I need a little bit of a lantern, actually. I can't see shit. Okay, maybe the lantern's worth it. Does your jelly have RGB? Yeah. It was born with RGB, really. This is like a level one. This is literally right next to the place you zone in and start the game for the first time, so everything here is level one. Land octopus ovary. The glowstone. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. Wait, there was a gold summon sign back there. I didn't click on it, though. Demi human chief. Devs hate him. Spam left click. All right, where's the next one? Wait, did the other one just not spawn? Oh no, it's probably further in. Okay. Enemy failed. Fell. Tailoring tools? Wait, you're telling me if I never came here, I'd never be able to tailor anything? Sewing needle? Are you serious? Oh no, now they're scared of me. They're like, please don't hurt me. 
Oh my god. I have their new leader. I want to take them into battle. Onward. This is actually a pretty tough fight early on. I think any fight that has a bunch of adds really early on is always super hard. Hey, I guess I'm not these guys' leader. That's the transmog system? Really? That's pretty cool. I wonder why they put it near the beginning in case, you know, trying to convince you to go here. Oh, hey, look, it's the island. We made it. It isn't a real transmog. You can alter certain equipment for alternate styles. Yeah, I mean, it's basically transmog, like close is what he's saying. It's not like, not a good one, but close. More like remove the cape. Oh, okay. Touch some grass. Church of Dragon Communion. All right, wait, let's turn in. Examine the altar. All right, plug in the dragon hearts. Let's go. Or not. I don't know what that just did, but I'm examining. Hmm. It does say come to a church and like go to the dragon communion. Do you have hearts? I have two hearts. I wonder if there's anything else on this island now I'm here. Also, the really weird part about this ambient music going on right now is that I'm getting a nostalgia hit from Dark Age Camelot, my MMO from my childhood. The ambient music is matching very well. That is all. It's like exactly the one-to-one -one copy of certain zones in Dark Age Camelot. Ooh, a smother. That's actually nice. Somber smithing. That's where the seat crouch was born. <laughs> yes. Wait, is that an actual... Oh, look, it's a turtle. He's just hanging out. Hmm. More shrooms down below. There's loot by the water. Oh, like on the beach? No, where you were? Wait, what? I miss fat loot. Wait, that actually killed me? Okay, dude. That is, I have jumped further. A hundred percent. Sea beefs, they give her 63 months. Squatting cow, they give her 44 months. All right, wait, wait, go down the normal path. Should have used a rainbow stone. I'm never going to use a rainbow stone. It's not going to happen. All right, look for loot. Loot check? <gasps> wait, there was loot. All that for one smithing stone. God damn it. <laughs> Shade, it's level two. The UI is bugged. It may look like two, but it's not. Double jump makes fall damage worse in this game. It might actually. Lost rune check? I'm going. It's right here. What the hell are these? What is that? Some sort of it looks like a mutant penguin.
All right. Let's read this. What is it? A key item? Look, two dragon hearts. Gain the power of the dragon at the dragon communion altar. Oh, there it is. Dragon heart. Uh, wow, all of these are insane. Um, channels dragon to bite foes, to rend foes, or to spew fr flame breath. I might actually take dragon fire. That sounds like... This one sounds like generic AoE, which could be cool. And then also... I mean, God, they all look good. Um, Dragon Maw? So what, it just bites somebody? The problem is this takes 16 arcane, and I don't have any arcane. This one takes 13 arcane, which is a lot more doable. So maybe I just get the first two. And this one's 12 arcane. Hmm. I mean, Dragonfire does sound sick, though, for AoE. And then Bite Foes or Rend. I think Rend is OP, so I'm getting Rend. And then we just need to get 13 Arcane to, do, to use everything. And I have... Uh, how much Arcane do I have? Nine. <laughs> okay. It's only a few more levels. You should save until you learn more spells. Maybe, but I mean, I think it's okay. Alter your garments. Oh, there it is. I can change the confessor hood to like a basic hood. What does it look like? Oh, that... I'm not a fan. Alright, what about the Red Riding Hood, though? <laughs> Alright, back to the hair. What else is here? I can alter my confessor armor. Oh, it gets rid of the cape. I, I like the cape. I'm not getting rid of it. And you can also get rid of the cape on the perfume robe. It gives you one vigor. Wait, does it actually give you stats for doing stuff? Huh. Well, either way, we're cool right now. How far into Elden Ring are you? Like 30 hours or so, but not that far. No, the Red Riding Hood gave you one? Oh, I had no idea. Um, okay, so chat. last thing we did, by the way, before I did these last two things was I did get the key over here. Um, but I'm kind of curious because it said go to the church west of the town. This might be the church down here. So I'm curious. If the church has maidens, it said if you are maidenless, go to the church. And I think it's pretty far. Like, this is Temple Quarter, but this isn't the same thing, I assume. You could, in fact, go over here. Say, what is this? Ignore big wormy boy. What you got here? What you hiding? Oh, nice. More loot. Okay. Oh, is it this thing in this tower? Well, no, I've been to the tower. This isn't the tower. Boom. Wait, did I just go by in a big circle? It's so foggy. Maybe it's this thing? It kind of looks like it could be a temple ruins over here. Rose Church, this is it, all right. This is it. 
Who the fuck is that? Wait, what? Okay, wait, wait. Kite out. Kite out. Kill these things. Let's get the fat loot over here first. Who are you? Oh no. Time to get angry. Oh no. Oh no, 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 not blood loss. Oh my God, I'm bleeding everywhere. <gasps> Holy fuck. This damage this NPC does is insane. And I don't even think I can block most of it either. All right, wait, wait, wait. It's not even a boss. I know, but it, it feels like a boss. Um, I know what to do, chat. The turtle? Yeah, I'm going to have to swap out the shield because it's using too many pierce attacks. All right? So... Yeah, turtle. And then what we want to do is... Swap out to fire. So now I have a fire sword. It was the red goo on the ground that got you? Well, yeah, but I thought that was my blood. Incoming cheese. Oh, I, you are right. I could... Yeah, let's just cheese it. We could actually just hard cheese by using, you know, the other half of our abilities. Bow? Uh, I haven't really thought about a bow. I'm just going to lightning spear his ass to death. It's interesting, by the way, they call this Rose Church, but it said if you're maidenless, go to Rose Church. Wait, new blood flame blade? Wait, what the fuck is that? It's just out here next to this church. What did this guy just give me? Nothing. It's a sword? Oh, I thought it was a spell. Wasn't it a spell? I think it was. Alright, wait, wait. Let's see what's going on over here, boys. Let's we'll step into church. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? They were magnificent. Remember my paladin. You don't say. <laughs> well, what a relief that must be. You hmm. may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Okay, he did not like that. Oh? They seemed off. Aha. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Oh, shit. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Huh. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Dude, this person's so bloody. Festering bloody finger times five. Isn't that the PvP? A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you. 
my lambkin. Lambkin? Oh, that's gross. Be sure to. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Be sure to try. I'm quite. Be sure to. I'm quite certain. Chat. Yeah, as a holy paladin, I want to kill him. And honestly, I can't invade because otherwise I lose my mod. So, uh, he's a heretic. What is he equipping? Then perhaps what the hell is he doing? Shit. <laughs> Festering bloody fingers times six. Okay. Yeah, we have to kill all of these people. Chan, as a, a holy paladin, very clearly, we have to be the Inquisition here. Oh my god, dude. This guy owns. The shade, no, they're not. Why is this... Why is he so good? Oh, there's a stake. Stake, stake, stake. Why don't I see the halberd anymore? Um, well, I put on the... One second. I put on the shield. One second. Oh my god, that AoE is insane. What? He what? It's time. Begin Operation Cheese. He used his last words to call you a virgin. Perfect PvP infancy. Woo! He used his last words to call you a virgin. Perfect PvP NPC. I mean, he kind of did. And is he wrong? That guy owned, by the way. Holy shit. What's in here other than Blood Rose? It's just gross. It's just... I mean, he did say come here, right? Come here if you're maidenless. So I came here because I was maidenless, and then... I did get the Blood Flame Blade, though, which sounds kind of like... It could be really OP. Right? This whole church was insane. All right, let me go back to the bonfire. I want to see what that spell is. Because if it makes my sword have bleed as an enchant, that's insane. Like, it could just be absurd. And it said blood flame, so it's automatically cool. Blood 
blood flame blade. Enchants right hand armament with blood flame. Ten arcane. I need one more. Fuck. One more arcane. I can equip that, I think. I actually have enough for it, too. And I bet it's way better than my electricity one. But the electricity lasts a long time. It doesn't really do anything. And then this one is cool, but it doesn't. It lasts for like six seconds. All right, I'm going to use that for sure when I have enough arcane. All right. Shit, now do I have to do the main quest? Oh my god, this is so weird. I, I guess I do the quest. War Machine earlier, 43 month resub. Thank you. Fox Robin, 47 month resub. Thank you too. Hmm. Wait, wrong door, wrong door. South gate. Jelly shield, jelly shield back online. Yo, who are you? Statue, I guess. All right, use the key. Oh, I just, I don't break it. I just walk in. Oh, okay. But isn't there still a gate? Like, hello? Are you not worried you're too overleveled for the main quest now? Even if I was, what can I do about it? But also, I mean, I just got owned by a dude in a church, so I probably am fine. Oh, so it looks like this is the entrance from the other side, maybe? The east gate entrance? Go past that seal? Doesn't that just lead me over to this one? Let me see. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> Only humans can be afflicted with madness. Yeah, this just put me at the east gate. We're good. And I've already been here, so. All right, go, go, go. Backwards, into the main gate again. He meant walk through it, not examine it. Wait, can you just walk through it? Wait. <gasps> what the fuck? Game changing. All right, one sec. Going this way, checking out some loot. Hey, Wolfies. Hey, Wolfies. Dude, how many wolves exist on this bridge? Is it, who's maintaining this? got a merchant here okay oh celestial dew I don't know who that guy is just walk away actually you know what why not how much is this guy's combo Wrong button, shit! This guy's a beast. Shout out to shields, the shield owned. Right, let's go hit up the merchants who the merchant has. How are there trees on a bridge? Where do the roots go? That's what I'm kind of confused about. Like, what is this like a dirt bridge? Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. Wonder why. How can I help here at the end of the earth? <laughs> Isolated merchant. Fanged imp ashes. Summons two fanged imp spirits. Trina's lily. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy. Stone sword key. He sells three different keys? And lost ashes of war to duplicate it? 
Has two cookbooks. And a bunch of blue cloth. And warrior stuff. Meteor bolts. Sacrificial twig. Dude, this guy is stacked. I need to go farm keys and come back. At some point. This would be sick. As someone that lives near a load of ruins and works in a castle, trees grow everywhere when there's just a smidge of dirt. Okay, can we talk about your life for a second? You live near ruins and you work at a castle. Uh, where do you live? Like, can you just get like a general... It's like... Europe? Have a safe trip. What the heck, dude? Everything's old. Huh. That's big. And yeah, I do have runes, actually. If I pop all these runes, how much I got? 2k. I'm popping all these runes. It's time. Wait, why don't I just sell to him? Anything. Selling makes it not go through the animation. <laughs> this is actually just... <laughs> Superior maths. Have a safe. Okay, we have 15k. Anything. Buy all the keys. Do we want to try these fanged imps? I don't even think it's worth it. Don't you have tons of duplicate armors? I do. Um, there's also the Fever's Favor's cookbook. Uh, what is Frenzied Flame Village and Revenants? Do I know where a Frenzy fa Flame village is? Like, I know it's a hint, but do I know where the village is? Also, I'm gonna get the cookbook. I don't know what I cook for or anything I do, but why not? Maybe I try the ashes just to see what it's like for fun. But 3,500. Hmm. Can you sell your duplicate armor? Let's see. What's a Celestial do for? Well, you can actually sell your Ashes of War. That's awkward. Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. What? All right, here we go. Look at all these chests I can sell. <laughs> Let's clean out the inventory, boys. Why are you murdering so many guards? Why not? Okay. All right, we're cool. You have duplicate weapons as well. Um, what should we buy here next? I'm gonna get the fanged imps just because I feel like it's probably the only place I can get it. And then I think I'm gonna take the hints. I want to see what his hints say. Have a safe. What you got for me? A frenzied flame village, south of the Grand Lift of Dectus lies the frenzied flame village inhabited by the sick stay away what stay away that's it just stay away okay dude revenants the crawling royal revenants and their followers are cursed healing powers will harm rather than mend oh that's actually big brain so if i tried to if i brought an aoe heal i could aoe everything huh Stay well away equals go there now. Well, true. Just to put the village icon on your map. One sec, let me get through all these wolves. I never buy those. I always buy the hints because they sometimes tell you cool stuff. One of them told me that if you do a plunging attack on the flame chariots, it'll one-shot them. Maybe not one-shot, it just does giga damn. They seem like they're actually worth. 
All right, wolves, stay away. Um, so what? It said it was south of something. I mean, maybe it's all the way up here. I've it's, I've never even seen the grand lift of Dectus. Yeah, someone said to go over here too for more loot. Loot check. Oh wait, there's a seed over there. Hell yeah. Kind of feels like a boss could spawn here. Like about to get attacked by a bird or something. Golden seed. Shane, you think I can make that fall? There's no way I can make that fall. There is actually no way. There's a red note on the ground. A what? Where? You could for sure. Use the rainbow stone. I actually would te be tempted. One second. Someone said I missed something. Now I have to go back. Oh, it's this thing. Be summoned to assist Yura, hunter of bloody fingers. Sure. Where'd you get that shield? From a jellyfish. Defeat the... Defeat the assassin, huh? Oh, I can't mount. Watch out, he's a gamer. Oh, dude, I almost got the, the stab. What? Are you serious? You killed her? Fuck! I got a rune arc, I guess. Man, I was hoping to save that person. I mean, I killed him at the same time and I got rewarded though, so I don't know what to think. Wait, Ashes of War, Raptor of the Mists? Wait, I got rewarded anyway? Who the fuck? Wait, the Thanks game the didn't count. My bloody finger was a thorn in my side. Wait, didn't count you as dying. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. Oh, hell yeah. I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. Eleonora. She's the deadliest of all bloody fingers. Oh no. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess blood zealotry, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. Nope. There is no shame in self preservation. Nope. I don't flee, I die. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. Be on your Perhaps way. Perhaps we... We've seen this guy twice now. That's awesome. Also, there is absolutely zero chance I'm running while I'm getting invaded by an NPC. I'm just going to die. That was awesome. Add charge. Yes. Added a charge. Hell yeah. 7-2. Big, big. Okay. Let's go in this place now and see what's going on. 
Still haven't done it yet. New Ash of War. Oh, true. I forgot to look at it. All right. Well, this place is big spooky. I mean, it is like Hogwarts, the city. The Academy of Raya Lucaria. Chat. These statues are going to come out and just start attacking me. Loot off to the right. Magic Grease. Love me some Magic Grease. Borpa Clean. That was just a small one. We're already back. The big one was earlier today. Alright, who are these guys? Oh, dude. Death to Burger King. Okay. Oh, that's awkward. Buff up, buff up. Okay, Flame Fire owns those guys really hard. Why do they all have Burger King masks on? I, I don't understand. Ooh, bonfire. Was there anything to the right I missed? Ooh, loot. Golden rune. Sponsored content. Dude, imagine being Burger King sponsoring streamers to play Elden Ring or just go kill all the Burger King wizards, please. Burger wizard. Chat, being a burger wizard. Honestly, it's just called being American, chat. Secret doors are here. Wait, two of you just randomly said there's a secret door in that room. There's... Uh, here we go. I can't tell if I'm getting trolled. If there was a door, it'd probably be over here. Not in this room. Wait, what? Can I get a uh, hot cold? Cold. All right, Roger. Colder. Antarctica, you are currently freezing. Dude, is it? In okay, okay. Is it in this room or not? Hey, what the heck are you doing here? Hit 
kit, bookshelves, and a room. Wait, there's bookshelves? No bookshelves. Shelf check? No shelves? No shelves. Chat, I've been, I've been bamboozled. I've been hard bamboozled. Unless it's these. These are desks. Alright, GG. Go on next. If I missed a secret chat, it's on you. You have to be my online messages, okay? What the heck is this guy? Okay, Burn Sword kind of owns these guys. He's chopping me. Oh God, what's he doing to me? <laughs> okay, so we got some zombies. Wait, are they eating my mana? Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, they eat my mana. Wait, there's just more. There's so many. What the? What? You think holy damage might be good versus these? Um, I actually think they seem like they're weak to fire because they're getting the fire buff as it is, so I'm not too worried about it. Like, I think they might be weak to both. Side path? What is this side path? What did I just find? Where am I going? Into the abyss. It looks like I, I'm taking like a stealth path instead of the main bridge or something. Oh, one sec. We got gamers ahead. Oh, we got loot up here. Marionette soldier ashes? Is that what these guys are? Silver pickled foul foots. Those are so good. They are. I'd be tempted to try them. There's a guy glowing. I think he, he's like very close left. I don't know if he's on the other side of that over there, though. It looks like he's on the other side over here. They're a strong summon. I've just been mostly using the rot dog. The the rotting dog is really OP because he applies rot. When he actually gets going, he just like it just kills a boss. Uh oh, that's a stutter if I've ever seen one. Oh, you can't block it. <laughs> it just went through my jellyfish.
their teeth are piercing, I guess. Where is this guy? Oh, he's down here. I see him. Ashes of War Spectral Lance. This place has insane loot so far, chat. I've gotten like marionette soldiers. I've gotten all sorts of good stuff. Rot dog sounds like a hot dog at a gas station. <laughs> okay, dude. Wait, there's loot down here. They're praying at this thing. There's... What the heck is this? Alright, wait, wait. Let's go over here. What were they putting down? Well, carrion knight helm armor gauntlets. A full set of armor? What the? Okay. What's the set look like? It's all medium load too. Oh, what the fuck? I look. I look sick. has a cape too it does actual paladin armor this is kind of weird not to see to get well maybe something more honorable than a jellyfish for a shield but not sure <laughs> no i mean if i had to Right now, this one fits the theme. The theme. Now I just need a fancier. I need a fancier main hand now, but I need a mace and not a sword. Well, this is so. This one's actually pretty good. It's a parry shield that has one hundred percent physical mitigation, so it's actually pretty nice. But honestly, the jelly is just too cool, so I'm probably gonna go back to the jelly. What does this even do? Boasts exceptional magic damage negation. Wait, what? This has passive magic resist on it? Oh my god, this is actually so fucking nice. I need to actually use that. Because this place is the mage tower. Wait, I'm using this for this section now. Okay, so I just... Is there anything else that I have special here? Easier to handle than a kite shield. Hawk crests. Okay. But the jelly? Trust. We're in a magic. The Albinoric's most formidable foes were sorcerers. Where do I get to see my magic resist with this? Wait, resistance is down here in the bottom. Or is it just a part of the block? I think it's probably just part of the block. So I just hold block and run into sorcerers and don't care. Also, what did the, uh, what's it called? What does this all give me? I need to go see resist is above that. The stat is on the shield itself. Magic resist. I see it says, you know, 61 magic on it, but the jelly does 52. Where do I see the the rest of it? I was wondering if it gave me like a passive regen. You have to go to general stats.
I mean, to be fair, it is not bad, and the jellyfish was technically a great shield. Press F. Oh, yeah. It's still the same. It doesn't passively change anything. Although it does block more magic than the jellyfish by a decent amount. I'm also curious what all these things are. So, like, there's so many different, like... There's so many different pieces of resists. Also, I feel like I should just equip the hair, honestly. The hair is just too cool. I know it doesn't match, but, like, hair... And I'm still not fat rolling with it, so it does match. It feels like it, it, it doesn't not blend in. All right, let's try it. I, I, my only complaint is I wish in this game it was easier to tell what stuff was good verse. So like there's the carrion knight armor and it looks like it's mostly medium armor, but like I have a lot of endurance, right? I have a ton more equipment load. Like I should really just be putting on even bigger armor right but i'm not sure what to do about it because i have so much so like what's a heavy load right like this is just straight up better okay now it's a heavy load after i put on the new chest but the chest isn't quite nearly as fancy right Let me see if I put on new gauntlets and shoes, maybe. Fashion souls. I'm mostly trying to min-max defenses for equipment. So right now I'm 41 out of 65 in the bottom right. And so I'm on the edge between heavy and light. Or heavy and medium. So... Also, chat, we need to go downstairs, I guess, to see what the hell's going on over there. Loot behind you? Wait, didn't I just loot? Oh, I guess I never picked it up. Oh, golden rune. Nice. Well, that was a cool area. I like that spot. Onward. Also, Max. MWD, 46 months. Aspect TNS. Tuna, two months. Thank you so much. And I do look pretty cool. I am very Paladin-esque right now, even though I don't have the Confessor cape, which kind of sucks. All right, this is definitely... The game is absolutely telling me to hop on this. I don't care what any of you say. It is 100% telling me to do this. A little pocky. Figure for 62 months. Wait. Wait. Wait, there's like three different paths. Oh, God. Where's this take me? Wait, there's something down here. Wait, how many paths are there? Okay, wait, if I sit on this for a sec, right? There's loot over there. Where does this go, though, if I keep going? Why is this place so dense? There's, like, at least five different paths I've seen from right here. Okay, it's about to drop me off. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Oh, my God! Holy fuck! You know, I don't think the fire is doing too much work, chat. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! He's eating me! 
what the fuck? Run! He can't catch me. I'm too fast. Okay, okay. We need to get something better on. I think we put the halberd on. We go hard. Like just the physical halberd, not the holy one. He's going to be pretty resistant to holy damage. If you let him eat you and die, it brings you to a secret area. That sounds like a troll, dude. Because I'm going to kill him. No troll? All right. Oh, God damn it. You said you want to know about secrets? I do, but I have to let him grab me. Wait, come back, come back, wait. There we go, there we go. All right, let's see if we're getting trolled. Banned in three, two, one. I'm not going to ban him. Oh my God, he was actually not trolling. What the fuck? Where am I? Wait, what? Why am I at the... I'm at Volcano Manor? What the fuck? Where am I? Ban him for spoiling? No, 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 guys. It's not a spoiler. I was going to kill that mob. I would have never found this place otherwise. There was no chance of me getting here. What the fuck? Okay, so don't fall on lava, obviously. Probably a good idea. This is a later area. Uh, I mean, I can tell. I'm like way out in the far north. And everything's in a volcano. We got some bats. We'll see how high level these bats are. Oh. All right. Bats are still bats, so that's a good that's a good sign. Smoldering butterflies times five. Shit! Wait, it's fine. My legs are still here. Nice. Wait, there's a cave here. What the fuck? Right, screw you bats so chat what happens if I die here though oh no we're going in are these flame snails what the fuck
Okay. I'm also fat rolling now. Oh, it's because I still have the shield on. Bro, how far does this game go? So wait, wait. I passed up like five or six different areas, right? Five or six different paths. I ended up over here. <laughs> this this game is absurd, dude. Oh, <gasps> Woo. Woo, that's a little spicy. Run! I see a bonfire, run! What the fuck? He almost ate me! Oh, wait, wait. let's get the normal sword back on. We're not fighting like evil incarnate out here. I'll put the anti magic shield on. What the hell is this place, dude? Shit, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. A fire sword in a lava area? This guy's a shit. I think the the fire sword is okay because these guys aren't made out of fire. It's a little bit of a five head, but I think it's true. Okay, now how do I get down? Oh god, there's a slug there though. Alright, maybe I swap. Maybe I swap to a holy sword for this, okay? Because I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I mean, they do say to fight fire with fire, but button mashing works on grabs. So I had to spam any button. So didn't I just get something new? What's this? Raptor of the Mists. Oh, God. It makes it scale with dex. Oh, no. I can make it keep scaling with strength. Well, what is this? I just want to see what this is. What the? What is that? What is, how do I use it? I was spamming all the buttons. It didn't do anything. Follow up with a normal attack to slash upward. Well, no, it's 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 showing the wrong the it's showing a different tooltip. It's showing the square off tooltip. Get hit during the animation. It's a counter. All right, one second. Let me hit this guy real quick. What? You teleport above them? Wait, what? I missed. So it te you teleport above them and you do like a free plunging attack? Is that how that works? It kind of looks like it's what it's meant to do. You just have to learn how to use it. It like, it's a counter that lets you teleport above them for a plunge. I, I assume that's what it is. And you negate the hit. Yeah. So that must be insane in PvP. Like actually absurd. Although that guy for some reason cannot proc it. Yeah. 
That's insane. You just negate the hit over and over. And it works against magic too for no damage. Oh my God. That's insane. So you don't take damage from anything. This could be really good. Yeah, I think on some bosses, this could be really, really good. I'm not going to use it in general, but I'm going to keep it in mind if I need to cheese something, you know? But I think for most of the time, I'm probably just going to go use... I mean, I kind of want to try out Bloody Slash at some point again. Um, I haven't used Bloody Slash in a long time. But if you just do, like, the standard heavy, right? Blood passive on sword. I didn't go for the blood passive because it reduces the damage a lot. I don't know if it's worth it because I don't have any arcane. Like, at all. It's like, if you do it on the sword and you go for blood, it does cause blood buildup. But I also lose... I do 180 per hit instead of that which instead of 220 so it's hard to say is like is that worth it what is blood loss build up anyway it also makes the skill off decks and i have no decks yes the bloody slash is broken bleed itself is broken well no, no we're not talking about i mean obviously this is good okay yeah that's obviously good We could try it for general mobbing, but it's just, so the difference is, do you want your auto attacks to hit hard or do you want, let's just try actually the blood then and let's see how much damage it does versus this guy. I'm just curious if I just auto attack him with it really fast. Did that just instantly proc on him? Every three hits it's procking on these guys. That's insane. Okay, that's actually really good then. It's only every few hits of prox. Hmm. I didn't think it'd be worth it, but like, it, it is. Because I guess bleed is just busted, even though I have no stats in it. Okay, let's go pick up all this loot, by the way. Oh, there's this guy. Although I'm not sure... It may feel good like a big boom, but the, I still might be doing less overall damage. Smithing stone six. It does more against big health bars. Gotcha. Smithing stone four. Why why can I come down here at all? It's weird. Might be weaker on bosses because each proc would be weaker. I think so too. That's so the, the question is, do, is the passive bleed worth losing the strength buff? I mean, at least that still hits hard. You're meant to go the other way. Oh, is it over here? Wait, what's in here? Oh, here we go. The path. It's bad if you don't hit often. Usually I'm like face rolling into bosses so we can try. All right, lantern check. Cool. Uh, Let's go this way. I see lots of things to loot. Holy loot! Why is there a river underneath the lava pool? I mean, chat, there's like 20,000 skulls here too. This is fine. This is totally fine. Oh, and a boss. You know, sure, why not? Oh, come on. Uh, wait, there's two, there's two of them. 
Do, can they bleed? Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Dude, I need to get... Okay, okay, okay. What is the best weapon I can do to these guys? That's what we need. We need something that's good versus them. Oh, yeah, I can't shade. One sec. <laughs> All right, all right, they're made out of metal. Do I just go in with the biggest hammer I have then? Wait, I can't because... <laughs> uh, let me see. I don't have any hammers. Like, that are actually leveled. So... Just use the lightning spear. The lightning spear? I mean, I was probably just use this, which is the generic Zug Zug spear. There's the holy one, but I don't think holy's that good. Blood does percent health damage that skills better with higher health. But the, the problem is, I can't, chat, there's no way those bleed, right? I mean, yeah, this one's, they both hit really hard. You can upgrade the golden halberd, right? Um, I probably could, but I didn't want to because he uses special smithing stones. And I haven't decided what I want to have for here yet. Put bleed on the plus eight. Well, the plus eight... So let me see this. What, do, what does this guy have right now? No one's going to tell me what the counter stance ashes was called. The counter stance one was raptor of the mists. Um, I need to go find out. Let's see. There's also Spectral Lance. Hmm. What do we think it's weak to is the real question. That That's my problem and I have no idea. Uh, like it's metal. Metal can't bleed, right? You can't just, you can't just put blood on it. I think. <laughs> it's probably weak to lightning. Well, in that case, I just run right anyone know how seagull got 120 fps there's mods out there i i have a mod on that increases my fov and fps you can put bleeds on it if you have the ashes no no what i'm saying is how does metal bleed Wait, there's nothing else in this room anyway. Okay, let's go. Mercury? Hmm. What's the mod? The mod is just... I mean, wait. I have more, infinite moss. Wait. Nice. This is a nice moss farm. How do you throw a lightning spear? Well... No, it's different. The lightning spear... Okay. Okay. Don't forget to pick up your 10k. I mean, I'm probably gonna die here a lot. Wait, I can electrify my armament. Wait. Right, and then we just two hand it. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ, he hooked me! Roadhog!
Oh no. One down. Inquisitors Grandal? What what the heck is this? It's a spear? Wait, it's a bleeding spear. Causes blood loss. What the fuck? Oh my god. And it scales with faith and strength. And it's also fire. So wait, it's a it's a faith and strength dex, and it's a scales with it, it does bleed. Oh my god! And it it can charge. This looks sick. I actually want to try this a little bit more now. Must be some sharp candles. Do you just gank people with candles? Rough move set? Maybe, but I want to try it. All right, wait, rest here. Mount Gelmir? What? Chat, where the fuck am I? What's the weapon thing? That. Can you add an ash to it? Let me see. I don't think I can. This looks like a special weapon, so I don't think you can. No, you can't. You can't. It looks hilarious. Um, I guess we're going in. There's another grace below me. This is a full-on speedrun skip. Oh, yeah, because they could instantly rush into town, die to the mob, teleport up here, and now, boom, they're at the north side of the map, I guess, huh? next to Volcano Manor. I don't... Remember what... Yeah, remember when we were doing the main quest chat? I remember. Altus Plateau? Wyndham Ruins? Oh no, he isn't taking damage. My candles do nothing to the skeletons.
I need holy damage for these, I think. Golden Rune 3. There's no way the candle does anything here. What's that? Oh no! Tibia Mariner! Oh! Dude, that's the thing! The, 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 oh my god, what the fuck is that? Remember the guy at the, the hold? Every time we talk to him, it says, What? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Is he in the ground? He is! Come back here, you bitch! Oh my god. We need distraction of some kind. Get the dog. Fuck! Uh, I hit him for a hundred damage. It did not move his health bar. Okay. So we can't hit him. There, I know there was a guy in a boat. But I don't know where the boat guy went. What's that on the ground? There he is! The boat guy! Come here. Oh shit! He's popping a wheelie. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, look for the boat. Scared. Oh god, it's taking to the skies. Oh no, it charged. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Jump over. Okay, that was a weird boss. Death Root Tibia Summons? Wait, is that a spell? That looked like a spell. And it gave me a lot of runes. Wait, does that mean I can become a summoner? That's like the second or third summoning spell I've seen. human bone shard and a death root yeah that's like the third or fourth death root i just don't know what it does i mean i know i've turned into somebody but 
Uh, Rex is only looking for two years. 24, they give for 23. It's always a fun time. <laughs> You're about to line up a 24 24, which is big. Okay. Let's see what the spell is, chat. Memorize spell. So the Blood Flame Blade I can use soon for 10 Arcane, Black Flame, Electrify, Tibia Summons, 28 Intelligence, 20 Faith. Dude, I'm not smart enough for this. I really, okay, there is a way, I think, to make a summoner build in this game. Look at this. You can summon with this, right? And then you can also, I think... Summon with this summons a horde of vengeful spirits that chase down foes. So you put both of these. So you summon zombies, summon a horde that chases down foes. And then I think you can also do a sword. There was a sword I got earlier in the game that can also summon. And I got it. I just forget what it was called. I don't think it's the crystal. Which one was it? This is it. Rose's axe. Raise the axe aloft to summon. Three skeletons will appear in attack before vanishing. Okay, so it's like you summon three skeletons and they shoot once and leave. Gotcha. So there is no way to like do giga summons. Although there could be. If, if you really wanted to try... Someone will probably figure it out, actually. Also, wait. Talk to Melina? Wait, what? When did this appear down here? <gasps> My maiden! The Erd Tree is close. Only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree. And the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree. Where Mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Oh. Huh. She's just looking for a purpose, huh? How do I talk to her more? Is that it? Or can I get up and then talk to her? Oh, <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> Good talk. Time to get some arcane. Oh, oh with the arcane chat, now we can do blood flame. Wait, does that mean we can double down on the blood maybe? Wait. No, nah, probably not. Right, because memorize spell. Wait, wait, wait. Replace Electrify. Electrify is actually not bad. I do like it. Replace this with... What was it? Blood Flame Blade. Doesn't work with any specials, right? So the Golden Halberd won't work. Um... What about the bloody longsword? Is that considered an element? Yeah, it doesn't work. It's considered an element when it's enchanted with blood. So instead, what you can do is Ashes of War, change the enchant on it. Just get off of an element, right? Maybe you could put on the Ash of War instead. Keep it on a strength, either strength or quality. I mean, they're both pretty good. Ron heavy, right? And then... Whoa, that looks fucking sick. And I assume it applies bleed. I mean, it does say blood flame, right? It'll stack with weapons that naturally have bleed. Yes, yeah, so you could like... What's a passive bleed? I mean, Reduvia has it, but this is... Does that work? 
it doesn't work. It's a special, right? Um, I'm not sure if there's... Wait, the Flamberge? Oh, it actually does work. So the passive will stack with the buff to do double bleed. But is there any other way to get passive of oh, Bloodhound's Fang? Wait, I can actually use Bloodhound's Fang and a one-hander, can't I? Does it work? It actually works too. Oh shit. And it's a great sword, a curved great sword. 55 blood loss buildup. And it's a spinny, a spinny boy too. That's a PvP meta weapon? Really? What else do we have a, a built-in bleed chat that I can actually use? A frost buildup. Uh, oh, the flails. The flails technically can too. I didn't know flails have built-in bleed. But they do work. Um, the spear, this won't work. It's, it's too special. These don't work. The wing scythe is special, also doesn't work. And I know the wing scythe has blood built into it, though. That's OP, so it actually has faith scaling with blood. Oh, the katanas, dude! I totally forgot about the hook claws. Can you do this? The frost, the frost plus bleed is insane for what it's worth. Big cheese. Well, wait, wait. Does the frost hatchet even... Wait, can I even buff the frost hatchet? I mean, I can buff this, right? You run the claws. So the claws... You can put whatever you want on the claws, right? Also, life steel fist. Kind of nice. Um, just as an example, put storm stomp. Make it scale with just strength. So now we have strength. Hook claws, right? That also gives us a storm stomp. Buff them, and then two hand them. Now you have double bleed on the claws. Um. And they already have built-in 60, so the Blood Flame would actually stack on top of that. And Blood Flame 60 was the same as my Longsword earlier. Um, what's another one we want to try out? The Flails? Someone said the Flails also have this. Uh, but these have... I can only do the basic Flail, not the other one. I've never used a Flail, just because they have such close range. I don't even know what it does. But you can do it. All right, let's let's try out the hook combo with the. Well, the problem is I've never I've never leveled these, right? You could try bleed plus cold. Um, the thing is I don't think I can buff the the frost hatchet. If I can, then it's busted. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't buff the frost hatchet. You don't need to. It's weapon art is insane. Wait, is the flail weapon art insane? Right now, the claws look crazy with this with this combo. Right? You just make strength. No, the hatchet. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the frost hatchet. Yeah, people said this thing is insane. It's this one. Apparently, this is really good. And people, you can actually like almost spam it even if you wanted. Like it barely uses mana. But yeah, it looks like the Bloodhound Fang. This is one of the best. 
because it's just a typical curved greatsword. I don't even know what its weapon art is. Wait, wait. Oh, slash upwards, use a momentum dash, then double back. It's got some weird shit. That's a that's a weird ass combo. That is so weird. Anime weapon art. It looks insane. It also has passive bl uh, blood build, which is 55. So this would also work if I want to have like a normal sword. So chat question. When it says blood loss build up 55 and 60, is that dependent on the damage you do with them? Or is it just that 60 is its own meter? That's something else. Like, do I have to scale my it's just per hit? Yeah, because I was wondering, because, you know, if it's 60 per hit, then the claws obviously are going to stack it instantly compared to the fang. Right? You apply more on charged heavies? Hmm. I'm just going to go over here and just mess up some spirits. And see what happens. They have low reach. Yeah, that's the bad thing is you have to be right in their face. But I want to see it with Blood Flame. Just like pure bleed stack. Is it also doing fire? What is this? You can't blood skeletons. Fuck! I use two curved greatswords. I proc bleed with two or three dual hits. Level the Reduvia dagger if you want to do bleed. Well, no, we were trying to... So what we were trying to do, Wilkins, was find a, a weapon that can stack with blood flame buff. And I don't think that can. The Reduvia daggers are... They don't stack, I think. Yeah, you can't do it. But they are really good. But these are 30 per hit, right? Although, what's the... Can be fired? Oh, I guess you get a spam range bleed. You could offhand it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just coming, trying to come up with cheesy ways to abuse this black flame thing or blood flame. Right now, that it feels like the heavy hook claws are some of the fastest to stack bleed. We just have to find something that can actually bleed at all. And then we have... Everything else seems pretty relatively normal. Like, I could probably just put it on a basic longsword as well and just call it good. Could stack bleed one hand claw, frost axe in the other. I don't know how to use spells in different hands like that. Because don't you have to like have a two hander to use spells sometimes? Blood fang with enchant. One sec. Come here, buddy. Come back. Ash of War Barrage. What the fuck? Is that a is that for a bow? So you use Blood Fang with Enchant, then a second curve with Blood Ash Art in the offhand. Oh, so you're just stacking two strength swords. Maybe not strength, but just two curved great swords with both having bleed, huh? 
I don't really intend on doing bleed. I was just trying to find the cheesy way to stack buffs as fast as possible. Like, the claws seem like the best way to do this. Especially because I can make them stack up pure strength. But I also, though, if you really wanted to two-hand it, then the two-handed here could be really good. But the problem is it stacks decks. And so I don't really have decks. So I was trying to find ways to get blood stacks with double buff without using decks at all. And so it looks like just a basic longsword buff could be good, but then also the claws. Just basic heavy claws with a different enchant on them could also be really, really good. The The other thing I need to do is I need to test out, um, what's it called? I need to actually level them. And, and I, I want to test them out on a boss first before I go, you know, hard feed mode. So I'm probably going to leave this end game area. This is all... I love the fact this is literally called Abductor Virgin as a waypoint. But let's go back down to the normal area. When you upgrade weapons, the blood number does increase. Hmm. I mean, I can upgrade these. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's go upgrade the claws right now. Because I think I'm actually pretty good for the most part. Test it on a dragon. Wait, I need to find a dragon then. Why is it all dark? And oh, fuck me, dude. Here we go. Th Wait, he's bugged. Oh, shit. Here he comes. This is the perfect test. Oh, my God. Oh, he he's just gone. Holy shit. This is an unleveled level one claw. What the fuck? Clinging bone. That, that also said he was a great enemy. Not just a normal enemy, a great enemy. Ah, I've decided to leave the round table hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. Isn't that we just the Burger King? We again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Study. What'd you give me? It was a fire monk. Surge O Flame incinerates area before the caster with a stream of fire. Wait, is that the only thing he gave me? We also have resist areas. We also have honed bolt. I think it is these, right? O Flame and Surge O Flame. I assume it has to be these two. Wait. Is this not FP cost one? Oh, one per second, huh? Last two? Well, no, the last two, the last two here are Black Flame. I've already, I've had those for a long time. I don't think I've had the Surge of Flame. And these are the Lightning ones. So it has to be a Fire Monk one. And I'm pretty sure I've already had Catch Fire. I don't think I've had O Flame. Which one do you think I should try out next? This one looks like a, an incinerate, right? And this one is just a Sparks Roaring Flame. I don't think you bought the ball. I have not bought the ball yet. May the golden... Those who live in... All the more. Wait, show them the death route. Well, well. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to. Hell yeah. The beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Yes, introduce me. Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you. Of a hidden gateway 
Oh. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. A red mark was made on your map. He's going to leave, so buy anything you want before he's gone. Further study if I can happily. You're actually right. Oh, God. I don't have enough credits to buy everything I want from him right now. I wasn't expecting him to leave. Like, I, I kind of want the black flame. It takes 20 faith, but I'm at 19, right? It, it could be cool just to have a generic fireball, but do I really need black flame when I have lightning spears? Pop some runes. May the golden well, order. I'm a completionist. I want everything. I want all the loot. You'll see him again. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just, I'll pop a couple anyway. Let's see what we can buy. Furthest I can happen. Black flame is really good. But the lightning spear is better, isn't it? The lightning spear is insane. They, they both feel kind of the same thing. I was thinking maybe momentarily spark flames from your hands. Close range could be insane. The surge, I'm not quite so sure about because it sounds like a channel. Um, I'm taking the black flame though, and I will take maybe honed bolt. No, no, no. Get the, get O flame. And then maybe cure poison. We could try cure poison. Rejection, produce a shockwave that pushes foes. No, cure. All right, leave. All right, goodbye, buddy. Ah, you the recusant sent a lucky. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir. Oh shit. Found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. What the heck? Honed Bolt is nutty in PvP. It always hits. It's on Mount Atz where they just you wait. The tale of... All right, so he's going to Mount Gelmir. I don't really want to go to Mount Gelmir yet because it's a high-level zone. What is it? The map indicate will lead you. He gave me the map. This guy is leaving. Um, I think we just go talk to everybody right now. The children of the tainted by the strength of Anzulis. I've already, I've already listened to this. Oh yeah, we don't need the power of remembrance. This is to like kill a story boss, come back to the fingers, they give you a buff. Nothing new from her. Um, let's go this way. Greetings. Are you here for spit? There's something you should know. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Who is she talking about? She said in across from the round table. I can hear it from across the wing. Past, past the, round the round table, table across the wing. The howling and wailing of you should keep. I know you. The howling. You should keep your. I know. Is it the dude you killed? Maybe. Greetings. One sec. I'll go fuck with him in a sec. Wait, I can also upgrade. Chat, I'm going to keep upgrading my Rotten Stray. I think this guy's going to absolutely shred every boss in the game for me. I have full faith. Additional items required. Okay, I need a Grave level 5. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arm. Okay, no new, no new things here. Let's level up the heavy hook claws, chat. I have so many of these stones, it's like, why not, you know? Wait, am I at, I'm out of runes. Wait, fuck. Shit. Rune check. How much I got? One? 
Oh no. Man, imagine. Oh man, being out of runes is depressing. I need to go farm or something. But there's too much to do. All right, did upgrading increase my bleed buildup? No, it's still 60. Back over no matter. All right, strength and armament. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Now it's at plus seven. Huge. The girl who gives you a hug and yoinks your life. I am. Would you like? No thanks. Okay, let's look around the main now. There's still. We also have the. And the wing across from the round table. What's this on the ground? Pick up item. Royal remains, helm, armor, gauntlets, and greaves. This is the guy I killed, right? I ganked his ass because he came at me. And he gave me his full set. Holy shit! Dude, imagine me coming at you in PvP with this set and the claws. <laughs> what the fuck? Worn by the unspeaking adherent of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. Slowly replenishes HP. Bro, what? It gives you health regen? Dude. Paladin, by the way. Paladin, by the way. Then I bid you welcome. As a true member of the round table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. Uh, is this a, is this the new guy or not? I don't think you he is, right? More great runes now, eh? Then, as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them. Five. Including the one you defeated. So four more. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Kaelid Wild. So that's why it's red. Great Rod. Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Which explains Morgoth, why it's the next zone. The grace given. Veiled monarch and lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, queen of the full moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's academy. Wait, aren't You'll I in that academy? More great runes, won't you? Oh, God. Oh, no, there's so many. So, Godric the Grafted, I already killed Godric. What's he going to say? Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Lindgren. Oh my god, Northwest. this guy just tells you where every story boss is. Know that well enough already. Where's Radan? General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars. Scourge of the Stars! Wait, Stars! Warrior. Festival, Stars! He fought and her rot to a standstill in the Kaelid Wilds to Limgrave's East. And now Kaelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. Probably but in his castle. True, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Huh. Okay, so this this just tells you where every story boss is. Hello. You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stormvale. Oh my god, she's the we one who killed here. Godric with me. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. I do if they have good loot. Arsenal charm? 
raises your maximum equipment load by 10. <gasps> I'm going to get even more armor. Wait, is there anything for bleed? Raises attack power with each su with successive attacks. Bleed, bleed. I don't have anything for bleed yet, but the successive attacks could be insane. So it didn't matter that she died after all? No. Oh, oh that's an invader in there. Wait, talk to her first. Here. I have a lot of these. Okay, what what I just get though? Offer? Okay, purchase. What's the shop? Silver pickle, ballista, buckler, a bunch of bandit gear. This is like light bandit gear. Um, what's this one? Nomadic. Nomadic wears cookbook. The staff. Astrologer. So this is like astrologer gear. To look cool like a spellcaster. And then by default, she sells the knight gear. She sells a mace. The rapier. Stuff like that. Alright, let's go see who this guy is. Dude, he's red. I'm ready. I'm ready to gank. Let's fucking go. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Wait. Apparently not. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement. Ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. He's disgusting. He's surrounded by bodies. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the hold serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. He talks a lot of shit. Probably because he is literally made out of shit. I asked you, thankful it is all the key. I asked you, thankful it is all the key. All right, so he's killed basically everybody in here. He's very clearly not a good guy. And people in chat are spamming dung eater. So yeah, he could be the dung eater. Seagies is back, Pog. Yo, uh, a lot has happened in the past hour. I got a lot of weird gear. <laughs> as a holy paladin, clap his ass. Yeah, I'm extremely holy right now as a paladin. Also, I've still never actually gone in here. I don't know what this balcony is for. Shop lady had a memory stone on sale. Oh, wait, is it this guy? Who's this guy? Ah. Uh. We meet again after all. <gasps> Wait, you're the ha you have the hat. Any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move. You see, so what do you need, what? dude? I, you're Roger. I, I have so many questions. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. What? This pussy? As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. He teaches skills. The glintstone pebble on an ash? The carrion greatsword? And the spinning weapon? Let's see what his let's see what his rapier is real quick. Would it be at the top? Or maybe oh here it is. A thrusting sword plus eight. Strength dex. Glint blade phalanx? What? It looks sick. Skill used by the enchanted knights who serve the Carrion royal family. Huh. Okay, well, it, it does a lot of damage, but because it's plus eight. 
It looks like it could be insanely good, but... Oh. What about the corpse under Stormvale? The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh, the Black Blade. Malaketh? And on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Wait, what? Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. The corpse? Underneath Godric? Give him the black knife print? Okay, wait, wait. The black knife print is what I got from the secret boss in the in the black ash catacombs thing. This is a black knife print. From the assassin who I jumped everywhere. It was insane. To get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Oh. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Yeah. Go for it. About D. Who's D? I forgot. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Aww. Dee was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. So kill them and yoink it. Got it. Okay. Am I jumping here or what? This is definitely a fight. This guy has a... He's got a Reaper Scythe. All right, come here, big boy. He bowed to me. Absolutely steamrolled. Welcome to Claws. Holy shit, he just got rolled. Frol calling finger remedy? Taunter's tongue. Okay. Return to entrance. You were supposed to fight this guy the first time you come to the round table? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm looking like Wolverine right now, dude. I'm fucking terrifying. When did you become magic Wolverine? Dude, I, I don't know. Okay, I just got some blood magic and I really wanted to use it. Dude, there has to be loot down here. There's no way that is that's it. Oh, wait, wait, is it right here? Oh, wait. <gasps> loot! Cypher Pata? What the heck is that? 
It's a fist weapon. Oh, it's pure faith? Really? And it says unblockable. 30 faith. Oh my god, wait. It's just faith claws. They look sick. Paladin Wolverine? Yeah, but it, they don't have bleed on them. It's the middle finger of God. <laughs> God damn it. They do look cool. And they're not... They're actually... Copy pasta the weapon? I mean, I'm not going to use these because I don't actually stack that much faith. I've been stacking strength. And I think for the rest of the game, I'm probably going to start abusing the shit out of these claws. Holy damage insane against demons. Oh, I could see that. Like, holy damage for certain bosses, that could be insane. Return entrance. Do you have the charm for successive attacks on? I do, which is what I, I have that on right now. Um, I put on all this gear, but I don't even know if this gear is good, really. It just looks too edgy. Like, I should probably just go up to medium load instead of heavy and just run the hair. I know it does say it heals you. Like, it slowly replenishes health when your health is reduced. Oh, so you have to get hit for it to regen. Yeah, but if you have to get hit for it to regen, are you just regenerating what you would normally get rid of? You know what I mean? Wait, why am I just medium armor right now with all this? Wait, the hook claws don't use anything. I can wear full heavy armor now. Because now I don't have to wear the giant ass halberd. But the fashion, I mean, the fashion does look good. Like it's not terrible. I mean, you could put on, instead of these, you can put on the carrion knight ones if you want. It probably fits a little bit better. Any set with passives is better in general. I mean, what you could do is this, right? If you really want to go full carrion knight for the for the look, right? This way you're the holy paladin with claws instead of being the undead necrobancer looking dude. This I like. Wait, is there anywhere I could see my full stats chat? Oh, wait, right here. Defensive mitigation. So what? I'm like 111 physical with about 120 to everything except lightning. Okay, let's put on the other set. What is the other set like? And I already forgot what I said, by the way. Was it like 120 basically with 110 lightning? Now we're creepy undead necromancer. And we have 111 physical and, and, and it's still 120. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that not it? Why is it exactly the same? It's a whole different set. Isn't that weird? So wait, if it's exactly the same and I don't have the talisman on. Wait, if I put the talisman on, do I gain light load instead? No, I don't. Okay, I was testing. Those are your passive resists? Well, no, it says damage mitigation resists. I didn't check the resists. It's the right hand numbers. Oh, wait. But wait a minute. My question was, aren't these more physical? Like it says right there, it changes. Okay, question. How, how do Dark Souls slash Elden Ring arm? How does that armor work? 
look at this stuff right like it says here my damage mitigation goes up right on this piece by a lot to everything yeah and the weight goes up which makes sense it's a heavier helmet same thing with this it's all blue and it's going up right it's increasing my poise all blue and it's going up now here the royal remains are actually all blue and it's going up except immunity right so when i look at my stats again the mitigation stays the same here is it the resist in the bottom right that changes that's why i'm confused is it just the it's just the number on the right oh you mean these and the far right the left is your character's number the right is your armor oh so what does this number mean why is it so specific like 26.662 like can any does anyone take like classes on this how do i use this ui it's a percent oh okay so left is flat from levels right side is percentage mitigation so right now i regen 26.66 physical and let's just go off the physical and it looks like 16 to 18 magic in general right so 26 and 16 to 18. but what why is it so precise now i put on the full royal remain set right Yeah, my resists are a lot worse. I'm going to be taking always at least, you know, 10% more here because I'm, well, negating 10%. I'm negating so much less in everything. In other words, I am way squishier, but I'm going to regen health when I take damage. 7% so scary. Well, no, it's not just so that the regen is really slow. Yeah, and I'm also giving up the class fantasy, man, of being a paladin of the light. Now I'm just a necromancer and I look like a dumbass. And fashion is the most important thing. Also, Bill, a bunch of numbers. Thank you for 42 months. T-Ben24, thank you for the one year earlier. I test out both? No. I'm, I'm getting hair. And we're going hard. Do we go banish knight or do we go... Let's see. We, we need to look like a paladin, chat. Right, right. which means we need to put on the either carrion knight god it's so much less resist going to carrion knight chest the carrion knight chest also looks way better though what if you're an undead paladin oh i mean you could just do this It looks ridiculous. Undead Paladin Arc. What are these? Oh, you yeah, have the Depraved Perfume Robe. <laughs> it's not worth it. I just want I want heavy armor. I want the capability to tank. What's the what's this other stuff? Aristocrat garb. Oh my God, I'm just a pleb. Oh God, I look like a peasant. Get me out of this. Obviously, Confessor Armor, top tier choice, right? You get the cloak and you feel fucking sick. The roll, the full Carrion Knight actually looks pretty nice overall. I don't know if it has a passive, but the set just looks cool, right? Oh, it's already on. I was like, what the heck? This is very Paladin y. But the thing is, do these have sets on, like attached? It just says armor of the enchanted knights that once served the Carrion royal family. They're all heroes. So is it late game sets? They give you actual passives? And otherwise you just don't get them? 
Because right, because the royal remains are now giving me a passive that just says when you take damage you regen, right? And it's medium. They don't they don't really give you much mitigation. So basically, the improvement of having this is you take more damage, but you regen it over time. So as lo unless you get like two tapped, you'll generally have the same mitigation as the heavy armor, hopefully in theory, without having to be as heavy, right? Also, seal 30, they give her six months. But if we want to just min-max, just go for the heaviest armor in the slot, all right? Just scroll down to the bottom and click, how bad do we look? I mean, all of these are heavy. Put on the Cuckoo one, I guess. Or maybe the Godric. One of these. How silly do I look? Bro, why are my pants so shiny? Oh no. The look, it, it doesn't work. It just looks weird. Change, change the feet. Go to go, these. Oh, now it kind of matches, but. What, what is this? I need to get like a full banished night set or something. I'm missing feet of Banished Knight, and it's all super heavy armor. Still chicken legs? Put on the Royal Remains. <laughs> okay, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, these. so these are the shiny ones. These are even shinier somehow. These ones kind of match, but they, it, I don't know if I like the full gold look and also it doesn't, doesn't feel right. Honestly, it's the centerpiece. The centerpiece is the problem. It, it just gives too much resist and I feel like I have to put it on. You know, it, it's just got, it, it weighs so, I need more heavy armor. I need more heavy armor, chat. In the chest. Full banished night set from the guy at Warmaster Shack. I mean, I already have three pieces. I'm not going to kill like a random NPC to get it. I mean, if if you really wanted to, I guess the best is probably just put on the carrion knight armor, and then you have like a good mix of poise versus everything else. This way, you don't look too silly. This way, you have the fashion and moderate stats. Although I'm giving up a crap ton of physical resist. What's the red helm you scrolled by? Oh, it's this one. It looks sick. The crimson hood. You could be a little red riding hood if you wanted. Probably best for spellcasters. It even gives you health, I think. Yeah, increases your vigor by one when you put it on. So it gives you like 50 HP by putting this thing on. It's kind of cool. What's with your character's face? What? What's wrong with my face, dude? <laughs> okay. Chat, this was like a half stream because of uh, what you call my internet went down. But okay, so tomorrow, chat, I may just go full Zug Zug look and we might just put on the heaviest armor in the game and run through a double claws through the main quest. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to say fuck fashion for a little bit. I'm going to look like this. Besides, you only see the back anyway, and it's covered by hair. And we get a shit ton of physical mitigation, and we're going with the claws, and we we just charge up the claws and hold down W, I think. I think that's a strat. We see the silver boot streamer. Oh my God, you actually do from the back. It's hideous. I agree. I get the Godric one on. Man, it just, they just don't look good. Okay, carry a knight, carry a knight. All right, it looks better this way, but, but then I give up so much mitigation. Oh no. Okay. Or you just go Royal Remains.
be the undead paladin looking dude. It's either full fashion or full stats. Choose one. The, but I wanted to be a paladin chat and look cool. I can't go walk around in this. I feel like a necromancer. It doesn't fit. But I can't go full heavy because full heavy doesn't look good. They even go undead neck paladin like this. All right, who cares? We'll figure this out tomorrow. Chat, I gotta go. I appreciate y'all watching. Sorry for the internet issues. Tomorrow we're gonna abuse bleeds with a claw because for some reason, bleeds are OP in this game. And I really wanna try it out on the boss. So cheers and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.